What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Nerd Theory on this beautiful Monday. Yes, beautiful what? indeed. How was your weekend? Weekend was good, man. It's so funny. Uh, my fian- Literally, right before we went live, my fiance texted me and she was like, you, get- you realize you guys are not live yet, right? Because <laughs> she thought maybe we were, because she could hear me talking in it. Yeah, sorry, uh, chat. Yeah, we were Josh just, and I. We're, yeah, we were we were just catching up, chatting for like yeah, twenty minutes, and then yeah. we got in a good conversation. Yeah, uh, for our, our ears only. Was good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, weekend was good. I finally got to the point where I could play a little bit of Elden Ring again, and I hadn't been able to play in over a week because of my move. Um, still not perfect, but we got a better than the green screen backup tonight. I got Chewie and Han <laughs> behind me. I'm feeling good about that. So. uh yeah, you know, so making moves. That guy won't complain now. He's like, oh, I had the message know, come right? and watch. What the hell is this shit? <laughs> I know, right? I want my money back. Yeah. So we got a couple things to talk about tonight as well. Actually, we have nothing to talk about. Welcome back to Nerd Theory. No, uh, we have a few yeah. things to talk about. Um, And then, of course, tomorrow is Lego Star Wars Skywalker Saga. So I will be streaming all day. Ooh, so nice. I hope you guys will come and watch the stream. It'll be like Jedi Fallen Order style. It'll go on for hours all day, pretty much. Um. Yeah. What about you? That's Are you awesome. stream? Are you no, play? I mean I'm gonna I'll do my regular stream in the morning and then I've got a Moon Knight watch party uh technically Wednesday morning. Uh mm-hmm. and a lot of nerd theory people showed up for the last one. That was really cool. So I appreciate everybody that oh, showed really? up. Great. Yeah, yeah, it was really cool. But I, I'm gonna stop in at least for a little bit and watch your stream of Lego Star Wars because uh look, people are really hyped up about this game. It's not really like my thing, but uh I'll definitely come in and, and hang out and chat for a little bit and watch you play it because yeah, it, it'll probably be fun. Yeah. Yeah, no, I got a whole new intro ready to go. Got thumbnails ready to go. I'm excited, man. Nice. Yeah. How long is the? Uh, how long does it take to beat it or whatever? It's a pretty big. I one, think this one's huge. Yeah, this one's got like 300 characters you can play with, and it's just it's it's something like that. So it's gonna have all the arcs, all the episodes. So it does, it's you go through them chronologically, or how does how does no, that? No, I think work? you can go through it any any like random whatever you want. Wow, that's cool. That's cool, man. Yeah, Mandalorian, stop in. everything. Yeah, yeah. I've seen some funny things, some videos and stuff online. Apparently, like little baby Grogu, he, he protects himself. If you like try to clown and try to shoot him, he, oh, really? he like closes the thing on his thing so you can't shoot him. So, oh wow, yeah, yeah, some fun little stuff like that. I mean, hey, I'm happy when Star Wars fans are happy. So, uh, yeah, man, that'll be that'll yeah, be it'll be good for you. It'll be yeah. fun. I'm excited for more games to come out. Um, yeah, but sure. uh, anyways, uh, so I, I got this like a few years ago from Blender Bottle. They sent me this, but I yeah. figured this is more relevant nowadays. Which I agree is cool. with that. Yeah. So speaking of the chosen one, um, I guess before we get into sort of the the rumor of this post credit scene and, you know, that leak and everything, uh, you and I hadn't talked about the sort of truncated <laughs> shifting around of Kenobi. Right. So now. Uh, two episodes drop on Friday. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, what do you like? What do you think of that? Like, have you thought any differently since you made your vid? Or, uh, no. I mean, okay. So, my question is: Is, is it going to be moved to Fridays now, or is it going? Back oh, it to... goes. Yeah. So it goes back to Wednesday oh. after that. Yeah. Why would they do? Why? Why? Well, like for the premiere, uh, I guess. I, so here's maybe I, I don't know though because they can do a premiere whenever they want. They don't have to you know necessarily attach it to that. I. I I'm not sure, bro. Like it's so there's a couple of things that are weird about this. And I don't want to go all conspiratorial because I've already had so many people get upset at me because I I, I think most fans are like excited about it and hyped up about it. And that's all good. But I am a little confused by it because it would seem that they're doing this two episode drop thing to maybe get out of the way of the Miss Marvel show, because the way that it was scheduled originally on Wednesdays, you would have had. Uh, an overlap with the Kenobi finale and the first episode of Miss Marvel. And there's just like nobody, I shouldn't say nobody, but there's like not a lot of people that would not, that would, you know, forsake the Kenobi finale to watch the first episode of Miss Marvel. So now with the two episodes dropping on Friday, oh. you won't have that overlap because you only have five weeks uh, of Kenobi. So that's possibly part of why they did it. It's also possible, and this will kind of get into what we're going to talk about with the, you know, the post credit and, and Vader and everything that they really wanted to hit you with two right away to really get people talking about, well, exactly what we're going to talk about in that. Uh, that's Vader. Right. And kind of mm. getting right into the Vader of it all. Mm. So I don't know, man, it's weird to me. I also find it weird that we will see literally half of the show 
within a five day period because you'll see the first two right and then you'll see the third i, I mean I'm like, I don't, I don't know like about that. that. I, don't I don't like, like that. that. Yeah. I don't like yeah. that. I want to draw it out a bit. You know, I want it to be like, let's get the first episode one week, second, next week, you know, but like two and one and then like all within five days. It's crazy. Like, bro. Then it's just that's... three weeks left. No. Come yeah, on. exactly. It's and so it's basically, it's basically going to be a whirlwind of Kenobi hype all within like a, a sort of five day period. Then a lot of like speculation about episode uh, four and, and, vader and you know all that sort of stuff and we're then not, we're not gonna you, sleep and, well yeah and then you've got literally like just two more episodes kind of after that fourth one which i i still think it's going to be awesome but it's a little confusing like why would they do that especially because that's the exact weekend that celebration happens so yeah well i i think they they want to have a watch party at celebration which i think would be really yes fun. which is going to be really cool but isn't celebration for all like these announcements and stuff like that i mean maybe not like maybe in oh, the I sense it's, that it's dude i i think there's going to be some huge thing at the end of episode two and i think that's going to just make celebration that much more crazy and i bet you on the saturday is probably when they have a panel or they're going to have a panel most likely for kenobi where like Ooh, hayden okay. and Ewan will come out that's fair and i guess you do want to kind of get into the vader of it all to have that go down so that's fair and that would make sense and i'm happy for everybody over there but i think that in terms of uh for the buzz for the show it feels a little bit weird because some of those announcements depending on what they are mando 3 you know kind of stuff mm -hmm. or maybe a movie or whatever mm -hmm. will kind of overshadow kenobi a little bit you know maybe not a lot i, I don't know but it's just usually a studio likes oh, to spread these things out you know what i mean and, and get get a get a pop on a week by week I, basis so i would have liked for celebration to come after kenobi yeah yeah for sure i think that would have been cool it's like let it let like this is the biggest show let us get the hype for it and finish it and then celebration can come out and we can focus on all these other shows projects games whatever books yep yeah i agree so i guess um but i mean it, it's kind of weird like they don't really hit us with much during the year for star wars and then it's like all at once you yeah, get two episodes of kenobi at once so then you get the third episode three days later, four days later and then you get a celebration at the same time it's like, dude that's Chill a out. lot, bro. Just like that. Out, dude. I mean, honestly, can you imagine if we were at Celebration? I wish. I mean, we wouldn't even be able to cover it, though. It'd be like covering Kenobi, trying to do videos about Kenobi. Yeah, there would be no sleep. We, we'd yeah. be a zombie. As it stands, there might not be any sleep. You know what I mean? Because we're going to yeah. be covering it, and because that's a Friday. And Celebration going the into Friday, time. And we're going to be covering Celebration all weekend, so it's going to be crazy. But like as a content creator, if you were going to celebration, how do you manage all of that? That's crazy. So I I, I don't know. It's just I guess as a fan, I'm really as excited. Great. Yeah. yeah, as a fan, I'm like, dude, give me it all, give me it all right now, you know. But uh as a content creator, I'm like, hmm. And then as sort of like a just yeah, thinking about, about the business thing, they're not they, doing they, it for content creators. They, they damn sure don't, don't like content <laughs> yeah, creators. So. They probably did it specifically to mess Usually with they hate us. They're yeah, doing yeah, this yeah, thing yeah. they want to take viewers away from the watch parties. They're yeah. like, no, it's over. All the fans are we here. They're not going to show up to your watch party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. well I mean, uh, I think it's going to be a radical time for people at Celebration. So you guys got to let me know how it is. Uh, maybe yeah. there will be some people at the watch party who are there. True. True. Can you imagine? Like people yeah, just in the so crowd, cool, like what, doing the watch yeah. party, though? <laughs> That'd be funny. Um, but yeah, they, they'll, they'll take the camera away. I remember when they showed that snippet from Mando episode one, season one. I was like trying to take my reaction and like security came up to me and they're like, you can't. I'm like, I'm like, no, it's pointed my way. They're like, yeah, we know you can't. I'm like, okay. Mm, yeah, they do get pretty secretive about that sort of stuff. So, uh, yeah, I, I guess at the end of the day, it's probably a good thing. I think fans are excited about it. And, and I guess getting into a little bit more of like the Vader stuff that we're going to talk about. It is cool to get two episodes that first week. You Maybe know, they're what I mean? short. Maybe they're like 28 minutes each. It's very possible. And if that's the case, then they made the right call. You know what I mean? Because I think that doing a, a lackluster, especially because from everything we've heard, Kenobi's going to start out in, in a pretty low place. He might not even be able to tap into the force, right? Like I've heard weird things that like maybe he can't even, he's so, you know, similar to Luke, he's closed impotent. off. Yeah, he's, he's basically <laughs> impotent in the force. He's like, you know, there's these damn twin sons, you know, they're, they're killing my vibe it's here. So, I, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> so, you know, 
It, it's gonna be like, just, the whole thing turns into like Austin Powers where he's trying to get his mojo back. Dude, kind of. I mean, kind of. That's what it is. Um, but then, yeah, so I guess if that's the way they're going to start it, then you definitely want to get into that good stuff as fast as possible. You know, yeah. and if, if that's him fighting Inquisitors or whatever, I mean, I'm here for it. Um, so let's jump into this post credit scene because you hit me with this about an hour ago. I didn't know about it. And yeah. uh, let's like let's talk about it, man. Let's just. Yeah, so I can pull up, uh, I'll pull up a little article just to kind of give us a brief uh, sort of overview here, and then we can go over it. So I'm over here on the direct, uh, the most important stuff, and I'll try to zoom this in for you guys. Sorry, my setup's still a little wacky here. But uh, okay, so, you know, possible spoilers here. Uh, they're talking about how there's potentially a post credit scene after episode two for uh, Kenobi, according to making Star Wars.net, mm -hmm. Obi-Wan Kenobi will also have a post credit scene. And like the book of Boba Fett, it also involves a back to tank. The difference is the scene mm -hmm. doesn't take place at the end of the series. And the individual in the tank is none other than the chosen one himself. According to the rumor, a set for Darth Vader's back to tank was constructed in Southern California with the intention of serving as the iconic character's introduction in Obi-Wan Kenobi. Apparently, Kenobi's reunion with a young Princess Leia at the end of the series' second episode sparks a disturbance in the Force. This moment is followed by the camera focusing on the murky fluid of Vader's back to tank as an eye suddenly shoots open. So, essentially, this would be after episode two, and it would be a cool way to sort of let us know as fans you know, that man is coming. Like, Vader is coming. Uh, he has officially become aware of what's going on. My question is, why would Kenobi meeting with Leia spark something for Vader? He doesn't even know who Leia is. I think it more has to do with Kenobi. Um, Being and, nearby? Well, so again, if he, like, let's just say that uh, Kenobi has not been connected to the Force, let's say. Uh, maybe as because he didn't want Anakin to sense him or something like that. I feel like it might be one of those things where when Kenobi has some kind of a awakening back into the force and opens himself back up to the force, that that might cause the disturbance in the force. You know what I mean? It's I don't think it's going to be connected to Leia or if it is connected to Leia, it's probably just in a way that Anakin or Vader cannot perceive. Oh, I think so he, he has to use the force in order, to, in order to save Leia, perhaps, and then using the force opens him up back to... Yes, it's almost like Vader. Connected. It's like, a, yeah, like in Halo or whatever, like he set off a gun or, you know, or in COD, like a little red dot. You right, know, right, 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 right. Basically, he's like, yeah, <laughs> what's going on, you know? And, uh, yeah, he jolts open, and, uh, I mean, that's that seems like a cool scene, dude. You know what I mean? Like, that's that's a, that's a wild way to do it. Could you imagine? <laughs> turns into cod enemy dropping into the uh, what was it? <laughs> yeah, the, the ua ua what was it ua uh, no ah oh, what did they say anyways chat what did they say oh the IO enemy dropping in the uh yeah yeah sometime. area of operation aoe AO A A A aol i don't know Eight AOL. Location, uh -huh. something like that yeah no i mean i dude it's crazy right like that's a super fun uh cliffhanger to kind of leave us on i, I kind of like the idea it's a little weird that you <laughs> see Vader for the first time. The AO, yeah. is that what it is? <laughs> Enemy dropping in the AO. He's just like, yeah, yeah, Shit, my head. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it's kind of wild, man. He, uh, what do you think? What do you think about this as uh, the first entry to Vader? I think that's cool, but I, I never really thought that he would cut himself off from the Force. I mean, it seems like Disney really likes to cut Jedi off from the Force quite mm -hmm. a lot. They do. <laughs> he just remained dormant. He didn't use the Force. Yes. But yeah, I mean, it's interesting. Uh, you know, it definitely feels very similar to like what Luke was doing. Um, you know, I, there's parts of the novel, the Jason Fry novel of TLJ that I like. Uh, first of all, that novel is way better than the movie, which is not really hard to do, but it is much better. And there's the scene in the beginning where he's having a dream of his wife, Cammie. Do you, ever, do you remember yeah, this? Yeah, 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 yeah. So like what was said then was that the force itself, probably the cosmic force, was like trying to get under his defenses that he had like really forcibly shut himself off from the force. And the force was like reaching out and like trying to connect back with him. And so I wonder if something like that will be going on where it's like, 
is it more than just him tapping into the force or is it literally just him tapping into the force? And is it because, uh, you know, they're a dyad, you know what I mean? Like what, <laughs> what's yeah. the deal? Like why, why would Obi-Wan tapping into the force? Like is Vader that sensitive to what's going on? Of course. Yeah. Especially when you it comes to would Kenobi. Be? Yeah. Vader's like mm -hmm. a bloodhound when it comes to Kenobi. His, mm -hmm. his whole purpose of being alive is to kill Kenobi basically so then when and to he, bring padme back so do you think then that he'll have to when he returns back to tatooine be dormant once again or whatever you know what i mean or or what's the deal with that yeah like, that's the confusing part it's like well okay then why didn't vader sense him this whole time yeah why doesn't he latch on to that feeling for forever like does he just cut himself off again i mean i, I guess yeah um yeah, I don't know. Or it's possible that he doesn't cuz I mean, look, he definitely senses Kenobi again when, you know, in 4, obviously. Yeah. Uh, A New Hope, you know, the presence I haven't felt since the Kenobi show, which isn't going to come out for 40 plus years, but I mean, that's <laughs> basically what it is. So, it could make sense that he feels something and maybe he's not sure what it is, but then at that point he does like get in contact with the inquisitors and he's basically like what's going on you know what i mean or something like that and then he comes through i would find it pretty crazy if he was just instantly like i know where he's at and he could like homing beacon on him like that would be that's pretty crazy although that would add a lot of tension to the series i don't know how much that makes sense in the wider canon you know like if that's the case then it's a little too easy well he's just really a clown for not sensing luke or leia then you know what i mean like if he's that good yeah or even the emperor you know yeah. but i mean it, it maybe he can like sense the peripherals of like maybe where, where he's at around well it could be that it's specific uh, to kenobi because he spent so much time and he but these are just these are just this is the rumors of what like, right why can why vader opens his eyes but maybe it's just he's just hmm let's yeah he would have to be like it's well yeah i mean he could sense him from very far away, but then they would have to come up with a uh, answer as to why he can't sense him anymore. Yeah, for like the next ten years. Yeah, and I hope that's something that they would address and not just kind of do it because it's a cool post credit scene. You know what I mean? Because it does seem yeah. cool, but yeah, there's a little bit of sort of head scratching that goes with it. Yeah, I mean, I'm all for fan service, like you know, cool shit. But at the end of the day, like it, it needs to make sense. I mean, I've studied Vader. Like I've really, really taken my time to like learn this character just because he's my favorite. He's so interesting. But I feel like, you know, if they just do stuff that's cool, that's awesome for shock value and whatever. And for fans to be like, whoa, did you see that? But also in the lore of it, you, you know, it's got to kind of make sense. Like, why? Why? Or yeah. how does this not happen later on? And I think that's one of the main things that, like, sure, it's really cool that you can cover this period in between George's movies. But you have to make it make sense for, like, well, okay, why doesn't this happen later on then if this is a possibility? Yeah. Right. Well, plus even him hiding and not tapping into the force kind of implies that he would do that to hide from Vader. So it's like it's like it part of it to me feels like, yes, they do understand that there must be some kind of explanation. They'll figure it out maybe through the second fight or something like, you know, um, maybe Kenobi just learns to hide himself more easily after this maybe that's part of more training with qui-gon or something right so there's all sorts of ways that they could do well, it well it doesn't make sense because they're like i mean how did palpatine do it you know i mean there's theories about how the the sith temple underneath the jedi temple was mm. murking his presence in the force or something from the jedi and clouding their judgments well it's like okay well they were also with palpatine away from the jedi temple so well, what doesn't uh, yeah, for sure. It doesn't. And by the way, I love these nerdy conversations, bro. This is my shit. But like, is it isn't it said uh, he says something to the effect of like the dark side of the force surrounds the chancellor. Doesn't Mace say that at one point? Mm -hmm. And so that reminds me of in Rogue One when Chirrut says, uh, does he look like a killer? And he's saying that like the dark side surrounds him, but he's not force sensitive, right? Like uh, homie Cassian is just a dude but the force being a byproduct of living beings is still there even if you can't tap into it right yeah so like maybe with the chancellor they were just like 
he's a politician imagine the dark side around politicians bro you know what i mean like all of them probably just swirling with dark side energy uh yeah r- rather than uh, obviously padme and a couple that are good but i i wonder but, I mean, it is sidious so i mean he, he can he would do anything he could definitely do anything um i wonder if they just couldn't differentiate his whatever dark side residual energy was there from just everything else that was going on they also kind of imply that their ability to use the force becomes diminished Mm -hmm. right so maybe it's like a combo thing where it's like well they're a little diminished he's able to hide because the sith temple but also he's a politician and the dark side just surrounds politicians you know yeah i don't buy into that i feel like there's got to be some answers to well i mean he had so many powers the force storm all that stuff but it's like Maybe he was using the force to mask himself, to mask the force. Which, I would say so. I mean, that would be you, cool. Well, let me ask you this. I, I think we've talked about this before, but don't we? Don't, I think we both believe that Palpatine, or no, 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 maybe we disagree on this. I think Palpatine looked the way he looked, uh, you know, when after Mace the whole time, and that he was using some kind of like shining ability or some kind of like right. force thing to, so there, to hide his appearance. Yeah. So there's, there's, contradicting uh lore around this in canon what actually happened is like in the actual novel is that the electricity was so hot that it was actually it was written in there that it was deforming his bones whoa so when it was hitting his face (laughs) it was melting his bones and like shaping them differently wow yeah but then in like there's some legends lore that he like used this mask to like cover his actual true identity which was mm. what he actually looked like or whatever but yeah um, yeah because no, yeah i don't know because on the one hand i feel like if he because the dark side's so corrupting it's not like sidious wasn't powerful in that moment he was incredibly powerful and he had done a lot as a dark side user and he'd even gone and whooped on maul and all of them you know what i mean so and then there's also the moment in rebels that cuts back and forth between good, you know, good looking Palpatine mm-hmm. and evil Palpatine. You remember that? Mm-hmm. So like they're kind of implying in that scene that he was that that dark side was always there. That scarred, hideous side was always there. So if that's the case and he can hide his own, you know, image from people in plain day, then dude, like, of course he could hide his force abilities. You know, yeah. it's like it's like Goku and uh, DBZ, like hiding his power, suppressing his power and stuff like that. So I think it was the lightning. You think that it him? Deform- yeah, I mean, it, it writes it. It says it and George signed off on it, right? It was just yeah. like the hot plasma or whatever was the, the lightning was essentially just melting his bones. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's interesting. Uh, I guess my only question then would be just about dark side corruption in general. You know what I mean? And just kind of because he doesn't really show many signs of it, despite using the dark side quite a bit. You know what I mean? He does use the dark side quite a bit. But you got to remember, he was also a politician for the for so many years where he was hiding his abilities. He wasn't using them 24 seven. He was mischievous. Hmm. But, you know, all those times he was in the hood with uh, Dooku, I mean, it would have made more sense if he had just used his real face True. with him so that he wouldn't yeah. look like a Palpatine for the, until, you know, he was ready to actually show that he was Palpatine. Hmm. Yeah, that's true. I guess it would probably make more sense that it's him being deformed, uh, especially because technically that lightning and everything is sort of dark side power. So he's like utilizing all this stuff while it's being sort of, you know, shoved back in his face. So, yeah, yeah I don't know. It's uh, I mean, I think that the the post credit seems intriguing and i i mean we're uh, all of us want to see vader and so it's cool that they're going to tease that right at the end and now it's like i'm yeah. getting comfortable with the idea of like the first week being like bam bam which you know it's also implied that basically we're going to wrap up the majority of the leia stuff maybe um at the end of episode three that you'll have two and he's maybe with her and then three and then she might exit the story and then it's basically just Vader and, you know, Kenobi for the rest of the show. I think that's kind of fire. And I, I, I am excited that we'll get that Vader tease. And I, I we don't know what it's going to look like, but I hope you see more than the eye. I hope you see Hayden's face a little bit and that you see like, you know what I mean? Because this is where you will. can show that off, bro. You know I what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I think the show will 
still have to do with Leia a lot, probably. Mm. However, um, I don't even think the show will start with Kenobi. I think it could probably start with somebody else or Leia. Hmm. Interesting. And yeah. then we, when then we eventually just see him like staggering in the distance in the desert somewhere, and it's like all hazy and sure. I could yeah, I could. See that yeah, yeah, I could see that. I could see maybe starting with Leia or starting with even Bale or something, right? But I mean, I, I think pretty early on you'll get the idea. First episode, yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah, well, you'll get the you'll get sort of broken Kenobi because like they want to take him on a journey. Like they essentially want to take him yeah. from a place where he's really broken, all the events of the war and also Anakin and everything has just left him totally devastated. Uh, and then we're going to watch him become the Kenobi that we will meet with Alec, you know, in episode four. So th they want to start at a at a low point and build towards a high. So it's going to be fascinating to see what that's like and how, you know, because Ewan's a great actor, dude. You know, mm -hmm. maybe maybe one of the best actors in the entire prequels. And for him to be given this opportunity to, like, bring that skill to this character at a really intimate time it's gonna be it's gonna be awesome to see you know what i mean as fans so i'm excited, I'm excited. man <laughs> yeah. yeah it's gonna be dope i'm very stoked very very pumped hell yeah guys what are you thinking what are you saying chat everybody we got 3200 people here welcome to the stream 937 likes what the you guys are just so entranced with our conversation that you're just not even hitting like yeah, well, you better hit that like button. This conversation like is going to end real button. quick. Uh, yeah. I saw somebody say, isn't the first scene supposed to be that Order 66? We did talk about that. That is a rumor that's out Ooh. there. We don't know that it's true. But yeah, we're we'll start, starting with that might be might be Do pretty fire. Oh. oh, dude. I mean, come on, bro. Starting just, with that. Just like Bad Batch. Whew, yeah. And then getting to the uh, <sighs> the that end where it's just like, oh, and by the way, this man's coming. I hope it's going to be great, bro. Yeah. I really hope the show is going to be amazing. Yeah, I'm I'm excited. Literally everything except, uh, you know, the Uncle, Fe Uncle Fester Grand Inquisitor. Everything has me so excited. Yeah, yeah. You know, by the way, I saw some people and, and I adore I adore you guys. This is like a, such a hilarious thing to me. I saw some people say they delayed it two days to fix the Grand Inquisitor. I'm like, bro, oh, it's up to two days to fix the Grand Inquisitor. Like, that maybe if they delayed the month. Yeah, bro. Like, come on now. No, so no, they're not fixing anything. <laughs> yeah, dude. Like, no, that's not what's happening. He's staying. He's staying an egg. He's an egghead, but you know what? Maybe he'll still be Bay at Ace. Yeah, I'm sure he will be. I just, you know, at least fix the eyes. That's one yeah. thing they could do. Fix the eyes. Hundred percent, dude. Just give those yellow eyes. You can do that so quick, bro. Mm -hmm. That's easy peasy lemon squeezy. Get it done. Get it done, Deborah. Oh well. Shall we? Uh, anything else we want to talk about, or shall we move on to the soupies? I'll check. Uh, I'll check the uh, news real quick, but I think that's probably it. I mean, you know, obviously the oh well, there's uh there's an excerpt from the Obi Wan. Oh wait, no, 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 that's different. Sorry, that's an old book that they're reintroducing. The old uh, Obi Wan Kenobi book, ah. I guess, is being reintroduced. Ah. Oh, this was kind of interesting. Mandalorian is by far and away the most watched uh, Disney Plus show, including everything Marvel. I don't really think that's a surprise, though. What do you think? Oh, including everything Marvel, really? Including everything Marvel. I can pull it more than uh, Wanda. More than Wanda. I've actually Loki's the biggest thing uh, that that they've done. Wow. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. So let's see here. Uh, according to THR's data, book of Boba Fett numbers. So there were a whole bunch of super chats before we started, um, but they're not showing up. They're oh, actually, for real? Like, yeah, they're not even here. They're not even here or on, on YouTube. What? Yeah, like it's not even in the YouTube. Like if I scroll up on YouTube, it's not even showing. Maybe if I go into the back end, bro, check this out. In 2020, uh, a year during which Disney Plus launched in Western, Central Europe, India, South America, both seasons of The Mandalorian were streamed for 14.5 billion minutes. The peak came during the eight weeks in which season two aired, which were 8.4 billion minutes. Uh, no season of any Marvel Studios show topped the viewing time of either season. The one that came the closest was Loki with 5.2 billion. How many minutes in the whole thing? That for Mando? Yeah. 14. I don't know how many views. 
Yeah, it's weird that they're not saying that. They never say views. They'll go about watch time. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I mean, that's kind of, to be fair, a little bit more more important. Well, it's more accurate because if you think about it, a view could be a click. You know, like technically, an impression yep. on TikTok is a view. That's why it's crazy. That's why the platform is ridiculous. You know what oh, I mean? Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. So with um this, what they're basically saying is like, bro, like that's hard like minutes YouTube. watch. Like that's yeah. people sitting there and watching that shit. And that's crazy. I mean, I, I think we all knew that uh Mando was fire, but bro, like it's it's their biggest show by far. Like that's why again I think it's so weird. That with all this data and all this information, they take like two years off from their like biggest show ever. It's just weird, man. You know, so you yeah, didn't, didn't they have a falling out with Pedro or something? Well, that's the rumor, and you know we don't know for sure, but I feel like something's happened. Like I feel like I needed I need some kind of an explanation. Um, by the way, everything we're hearing about Mando season three sounds fire, so I'm pretty excited about all that. It's definitely one of my favorite shows. I love. That I hope. Show. I hope Kenobi's. I hope. I'm, I hope Kenobi finishes, and I'm gonna be like, "This was the most amazing Star Wars I've seen since 2005." If Kenobi does those kind of numbers or better, like, whoa, bro! Like, that's a huge W for Star Wars. Like, that would be crazy because that's basically, yeah, the biggest show on the planet. You know what I mean? Like that. I think especially right. You don't now, have characters like, bigger than Obi Wan and Vader. Just, you don't. No. You don't. No, you definitely don't. And dude. If it's as well crafted as a lot of the stuff we've been hearing, I think they're, I think they're in for some big old numbers. I hope so, man. I yep. hope so. These are my these. You know, there's nothing in the world that can like unlock that little child in me, like Star Wars can. Yeah. Like sure, 100%. there are things here and there, you know, but but it's like whenever I watch Star Wars, I'm it literally is like I'm a little child. 100% man it puts me in a very awe just yeah it's it's special to this day yeah. it's it's special and putting that stuff on is yeah it's it's definitely special so rooting for it rooting for that Kenobi yeah American <coughs> pride with 20 bucks says hey theory and Josh thanks for all the laughter in your guys streams and I enjoyed listening to your to your guys through Apple Podcasts, and you get me through my mornings when I work. May the force be with you guys always. Uh, that's great, man. Am I on Apple Podcasts? <laughs> yeah, right. Like, Are we? I don't know. Some somebody figure that out. Is this Clips Channel doing that or what? It's one of these Clips people. It, it could be yours. It could be syndicated it, through. It could be my uh, through like the Spotify John. The Spotify or people. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, because I think like when I upload through, I upload through Anchor and it posts to Apple and Spotify. So, but I haven't done a podcast in a minute. Interesting, because this, this move, but right, okay, fair enough. Yeah, but we appreciate it, Josh. Man. Love the content from you both, and can't wait for Kenobi watch parties. Keep it up. Also, theory office tour when? Oh, uh, yeah, whenever really. Yeah. Um, Dude, I love those uh, lights that you got on there, man. I'm like gonna think too. about I doing think that. Really cool. Yeah, Chad, do you want me to change the color? Oh, you know, I've never tried yellow. Oh, that's like a lime. Mm. Yeah, it kind of looks greenish. Yeah, that's definitely green. It's definitely blue. There you go. Yeah, okay. Blue's nice. Yeah, blue's nice. White's pretty dope too. Yeah, white's dope. Chad, which one do you like the most? Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyways, new member, you guys are even getting new member art. You just got the uh, first comic panel a couple days ago, and you'll be getting new art in probably a week. So, wait, what's Chad saying? You like white, red, blue? What? Yeah, they're going crazy it's all over the place. Yeah, white looks empire. -y. I agree. Whoever said Dougie that. Jones, uh, Josh, you want to read that one? Yeah, let's do it. I'm turning 21 this week. Uh, looking. Get trash and play Skywalker Saga. Also, mm. theory you should DM for a Star Wars RPG campaign stream, uh, stream like Critical Role. Yo, that would be fun for sure. DM, um, uh, Dungeon Master. So, ah. like, you'd have to like run the thing or whatever. But uh, yeah, dude, I've all I've talked to. We talked about this in the past, like playing Dungeons and Dragons and how cool it is. Uh, but we've never just, dude, getting a campaign together is hard. Yeah, where am we? I think I talked to you about it. Like, just how fun it is. Are we? yeah i'm pretty sure it's like in my opinion honestly if you are a gamer and you like you know playing games 
of course. There's there's not a better experience than playing a good RPG campaign. It is literally the best gaming experience I've ever had. But they're very hard. Like they're challenging to get the type of people together. It's challenging to get the same schedule. Uh, I've literally never finished a full campaign. Uh, but yes, they're they're incredible, bro. So playing like a Star Wars RPG would be sick. Well, that'd be wild. Yeah. We can't even get together for movie bros. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. We've got we got a few things to work on, but then yeah, we could, we could love the work, guys. Going. Thanks, Dominic. Do either of you golf? Uh, I don't. No. I do no. VR golf with Mark. Oh yeah, are you any good? In VR golf? <laughs> I'm yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> I, feel like I'm the, I was expecting you to be like, I'm the Tiger Woods of that shit. Like, they can't no, touch me. No. Uh, but no, that's cool. No, I've never golfed. I, well, I, that's not true. I golfed once, but it was really just drinking beer on a. Oh, nice. Right. So. Yeah. <laughs> Will the Kenobi show be as good as Arcane? Because Arcane set the bar pretty high. Will we ever see a Star Wars reach that level of storytelling? Uh, have you seen Arcane? No. What is that? It's a show based off of League of Legends characters, I believe. Mm. Uh, but dude, like everybody was when it came out, everybody was so hyped up on Arcane, and uh, I checked it out. The hype's real, dude. The hype is real. Incredible, incredible show, and the way they do the lore building and everything, it's fascinating. But I would, I would argue that there's been Star Wars stuff that's on the level. Um, but yeah, Arcane is good. Highly recommend. Watched Josh's stream earlier today, got confused, and ate a blinker. Wish me luck. <laughs> right on, dig a pig. Oh, no, these are... Okay, so these are the old... Sorry, these are the old Super Chats. Okay, cool, cool, cool. These, cool, are, cool. these are even before we uh, started streaming. Blink them if you got them, I say. Rebel Force Radio has a recent interview with someone who was told when he was 12 by uh, Alec Guinness to never watch Star Wars again. Even the autograph he received says it. Check it out. What? Yeah, you didn't know that? No, I didn't know this. And why so, did he say that? So uh, he brought... Uh, he didn't like Star Wars, probably. He brought uh, this this kid. I guess it's that kid. Brought Alec Guinness this... Uh, I think it was a copy of Episode 4 or something like that. Or a book, or whatever. And he's like, can you please sign this? And Alec is like... And the kid was like, I've, I've watched Star Wars a hundred times. Or or I've seen it in the theaters like a hundred times or whatever. And Alec Guinness was like, I will give you this autograph if you promise me to never watch Star Wars ever again. <laughs> are yeah. you serious yeah he thought the dialogue was really bad oh my god he thought it was really clunky and he's just like wow yeah he like listening to that's it. some straight harrison ford stuff except more wild that's crazy i didn't know that supposedly huh supposedly wow okay all right alec guinness damn yeah, I wasn't a fan. Yeah, just like Will Smith them or something. Slap the shit out of the kid. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Uh, I've, I've new thoughts on the Will Smith thing. Hit I me. Tell you. Hit me. So I think he should have... I don't think he should have hit him. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think there could have been a better way to do it. 100% agree. I agree. My thoughts on that... Because originally I was like, I was like, yeah, F it. Just hit him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I was thinking about it. And I'm like, no, man. You, you know, he, he just was ripping on her a bit. All right. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, is like uh, for me, like it's he could really... cancel him. He could Twitter. You know, like, right, right, right. Talk right. about Have what Jada's you... been going. Through. He could sure. go up there and be like, "Yo, like I got to tell you, like this is not cool. She's been going through something." But to go up and hit him. Yeah, I mean, for sure. Extreme. You know what's been interesting to me is watching everybody build narratives around it. That's been more interesting to me. Like, I think that the for real, for real, what happened was like Will had been on edge. He's been dealing with a lot and he just snapped. Like, there's yeah. no way around it. He snapped. Like, that's not right. a logic move. That's not like a put together person that's making no. moves right there. Like, that's a person no. having a moment, right? Yeah. But what's been more interesting to me has been like all these freaking crazy narratives created around it. Yeah. Like, it's wild to me, dude. Like, and, and I've seen like so many videos. I, I think that sort of the tide has turned and that a lot of people are not team will anymore and there's like a lot of people being like you know clowning on him or whatever reason i think um, he just made a mistake man. i think he's just got yeah. he's got a lot going on mentally and i think that's what people should be focusing on is that he is not okay 
And yeah. I like Will Smith and he's definitely not okay right now. You know? Yeah. Yeah. hundred percent. And I think that, uh, you know, wise move for him to step away from the Academy and to take some time off and all that sort of stuff. Uh, I think that's probably the wise move, but, uh, yeah, I don't know, man. I just, to me, like, like the whole situation is like not that deep and it's just fascinating because again, it's just, I'm, it's wild to me watching people like spin, yeah. like basically taking like a thing and like rumple still skinning that shit and like just spinning it into YouTube gold or commentary gold. And like, I have this hot take about it or like, it means this, or, you know, no, this absolutely. is why yeah. it's like home. Yeah. Oh my God. It's like, nah, man, like dude just got, just, he just snapped. He just you know enough. what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah that's enough. it. So he's probably putting it all. Uh, what's it called when you, um, repressing bottling it all yeah repressing he's probably repressing some shit 100 sure. yeah and then just boom. yeah it's interesting because like with hollywood right it's especially with a guy like will you, you know what's so funny to me i was watching you know all the celebrities do their like reactions to it and rock's reaction was really funny the rock was just like in shock and no, no, I, he was like when I saw his reaction, I was like, bro, that's you in 10 years, 100%. Because nobody can be the walking billboard and try to be chill and cool and calm and happy to everybody. And, and you know what I mean? Like, nobody can do that forever. And that's a pressure cooker town. And you live on the internet now. Like, I feel like everybody in Hollywood is, again, just probably one bad day uh, away from doing something like that. Probably. You got to keep yeah. on this persona, man. You, yeah, that's a thing. Or you got to put like, on that mask. It's like, yeah, I, I, and we're lucky in that sense as YouTubers that we don't. We, if we're having a shitty day, we're just, yo, being real. I'm having a shitty day. Like, mm -hmm. I don't got to answer it. It's what we were talking about before the stream. We don't have to answer yeah. to anybody. You don't have a boss. You know, it's like, yep. How we feel is how we feel. We're, we're humans. Right? We, yeah. we, we act as humans. We don't act as robots. Yeah. And there's some celebs that are making that sort of shift into, Which let's cool. call it like alternative media or whatever. And I think it's great. And, uh, you know, I think really Tom just, Hardy's like that. Tom Hardy. I haven't seen too much about him. You know what I just discovered, though, is real. Michael Rosenbaum and his podcast. I, I literally, for whatever reason, I found myself watching and finding a clip of his podcast. And I was like, man, this is some really, some of this stuff's like really cool and really real. And it has like a kind of fun angle on oh, these cool. actors like talking about it. Yeah. Like I saw he was talking to the dude that does Reacher, like the actor that played. Uh, yeah, yeah, right. And yeah. he was just talking about how like he basically made it in Hollywood and then had this total breakdown and was feeling like so empty to the point where he had to call a shrink and say like, I need to see you immediately because I don't know what will happen if I don't. You know what I mean? And it just Who sort of shows the Reacher you. guy? The Reacher guy. Yeah. He basically oh, had, shit. yeah. So he had like all the success. He had checked all the boxes, made the whole, you know, done the victory lap and just was completely empty. And it really messed with him. And I was like, dude, like, this is some really compelling stuff, like him opening up about this and like talking about it. So yeah. I, I, media is weird and the world is weird, but I think we're heading in a better direction if we can just be a little bit more real about it, you know? Yeah. I think that's what you need to see. Mm -hmm. People just being people. Yeah. You Knowing that it's okay not to be okay one day. Like, you don't have to be like, hey guys, welcome back to another episode. Today we're yep. going to talk about blah, blah, blah. It's like, yep. nah, man, you know what? My gerbil just died. Like, I'm yeah. Not like, you know, whatever. 100%. Yep. But, uh, yeah. So we appreciate you guys. We try to keep it real as much as we can here. 100%. So, um, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe and make sure you to share with all your like friends. Button. I'm going to come after y'all like Will Smith and it's just going to be slap city. It's going to just be like, pop, 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 like all the think, way down. What do you think if the rock said that? If the rock said that of Chris rock, dude, I want to say something low key. I, maybe I, it's about to get wild. It's about to get wild. I'm telling you this right now. Will Smith could take the rock hundred percent. What? hundred percent, dude. hundred percent. Will Smith could take the rock. Maybe back in like 2005. Nah, man. Nope. 100 percent let himself him go man he's just like completely you think he's let himself go you don't think Dude, he's he... in shape no he, man he used to be tip top shape man he was Dude, the rock the rock would be like in elden ring one of those big giant golems that like moves like this Dude. and will smith would be like swinging swords at his legs like in between and stuff like that i'm telling you right now weight categories exist for a reason <laughs> they do they do they didn't used to by the way do you ever see the old ufc Oh, the you old, mean uh, old UFC? Um, like Gracie and shit, and they're like Ken Shamrock, and they're like, yeah, 
Dude, this shit was wild back in the day. Yeah, you can fun. still watch that stuff on um, Fight Pass or whatever. Do yourself a favor, guys, and go watch some old clips of some of that stuff. That shit was <laughs> wild. Bro. We're saying L take for Josh. Oh, of course. Uh, come on. Come on. I, I, I'm ready. I just said dude. Will Smith would beat The Rock. I'm ready for the L's, chat. Dude, I'm ready. The Rock is he's just too huge of a human being. This is he's rock. just too massive. This is this is rock, dude. He's like six four, six five, like two hundred and eighty pounds, lean, like semi lean, like yeah. What? <laughs> yeah, like that's a, he's got some. Yeah, he's got some incredible doctors. Cause that's a bull. That's I mean that's not even I, a human. No, he's definitely not. He's a walking billboard. But uh, that's my point is that <laughs> like he he would be like Rock would be trying to sell some vodka or some shit like during it, and will just be bam bam. It's already over for me. He's got nothing to lose. I'm doubling down on celebrity death match. Make it happen. Oh, you remember that show? Of course, dude. That show was, yeah, was awesome. Great. Yeah, that was great. That was awesome. They need to was... bring that back 100%. That would get canceled yeah. nowadays. Yeah, probably. You're probably right. Yeah, just like everything else. Everybody wants a poll. Bro, we're not going to put up a poll. We all know it was an outlandish take, okay? Now, I've made this bed and I'll sleep in it. But sheesh. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Pull it. Smith pull. would have never hit the rock like that. Only hit Chris Rock like that because he knew he could get away with it. Yeah, that's fair. That's. I mean, fair. yeah. That's imagine, fair. imagine if it was like, yeah, but I, I don't know. Chris Rock's also made like jokes about Jada in the past too. Correct. There was, was some thing. thing, and there's this rumor that Will had asked behind the scenes that Chris doesn't do that anymore or whatever. I mean, look, there's all this stuff. Again, it's narrative, right? It's like you know, the only thing to save his career at this point is if hmm. they sit down on TV or something, Will Smith across from Chris Rock, and they just talk. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's the that's, that's what would everything would go away. I mean, I think honestly, it it's funny because like. Like the, I think the internet will honestly forget, not like forget, but like will not be as invested in it in like just a couple of weeks. You know what I mean? Like, well, that's how the internet is. Yeah, the next really hot, and then two weeks later, it's it's the next piece of news. Yeah, it'll be like the next big thing happened, and then like a couple of years from now, we'll be like, "Yo, Will Smith's making movies again." Oh shit! You know what I mean? Yeah, he's talking about the yeah. slap and all this, and now there's a movie about it or whatever. You know, this, that, second, and the third. I think Chris, despite kind of in the moment, in my opinion, looking super soft, uh, I think he will ultimately end up coming out of this pretty good. And I, I, like his his tour right now is like crushing. You yeah. know what I mean? So, like he's going to probably. Yeah. And bro, like he's got a joke about it. Like when you tell me he's not, he's like, is he going to come out? I, I'm telling you, every spot he does, he's going to be like, Will Smith? Will Smith out there, you know, like yeah. looking all that. Everybody's yeah. gonna go wild and shit. He's got material for the rest of his life. So, well, his brother's been <laughs> not holding back at all on his on his uh, stand ups. A lot of people will. I mean, the thing is, the comedian community has really galvanized around Chris, which I think is in some ways is cool. Like I'm like, yeah, that's cool. great. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's fine. You, uh, you were yeah. one of us. It's like that scene in Spider Man Two with Joey. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. You, yeah. you want to get to him? Yeah. You gotta get to me. It's true. It's true. It's true. I mean, comedians, but you know, it's fine. That's what I like about New Yorkers. They all stick together. They do stick together. Except Hello there. What is the meaning of the numbering order of inquisitors? Is it supposed to indicate how strong they are compared to each other? I don't think so. No, I don't, I don't think so. I think it's just numbering. Yeah, probably just to put something on the toy <laughs> box, you know? Yeah. I don't know, man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, you, you got this one. Yeah, yeah. Here, uh, here, another donation for our guys. Amazing work for all the laughter you bring. Uh, my favorite YouTubers for sure. You bring soul to your guys' work. Take care, you guys. Hey, I appreciate that. American pride. Much love, man. Much love to you. Much love, man. We appreciate you, man. I got Thanks a little American in. pride myself. So there you go. Theory is practically American anyway. Uh, I almost was. Oh yeah. Yeah, well, I was engaged to an American. And if you would have, that would have, would that would have done it? Yeah. Huh. Yeah, if she would have been Canadian. I would have been American. Is that like a <sighs> like a green card, John, kind of thing? Oh uh, yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. So I just got to find another American girl. 
There you go. American I can girl. buy my house in Maui. There you go. Maui ain't in America though. No. Um, it would be easier. True. 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 You don't have to, but yeah, it'd be nice. Yeah, hundred percent. Um, Obi Wan Denobi, what's up, dude? To y'all that are exaggerating the Luke Soka thing, I didn't see this energy when Luke was. <laughs> Let the band smash in peace. I mean, fair. Fair. What's the one thing you wanted to see in Kenobi that you think is possible but not likely? Ooh, do you have an answer? I have an answer for that. No, because everything I want to see is probably likely. <laughs> yeah, I would say Yoda for me. So I don't think Yoda's likely, but I would love some Yoda, you know, so... I mean, I think Qui Gon's likely. I think uh, Anakin flashbacks in the Clone Wars is, li is likely. Yeah. I think Obi Wan versus Vader, obviously likely. Mm -hmm. Cal Kestis is a good one. I see people saying that. That'd Palpatine likely. Uh, yeah, yeah, Cal Kestis would be cool. Sure. Yeah, let's throw Cal in there. Let's do it. I just want to see flashbacks of Order sixty six. Like, I really want to see that. Bro, just yeah. Anakin I'm... going. Damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just for sure. Yo, I saw. I, I recently watched a clip because we were editing uh, for the leaked video thing that came out, uh, and I was rewatching the scene where he's cutting down everybody on Mustafar in slow mo. And bro, watching him work with that saber cutting through those dudes is it's fire, bro. So like, yeah, I I would really like to see more of that too. Mm -hmm. right, I'll grab this one. Sup, Theory and Josh currently traveling west coast of the U.S. in the Bay Area. Was sitting on the sand and was reminded of Anakin. Also mm. saw a couple that look like Luke Soka. Hello, <laughs> Mayo. Oh, uh, love you both. Thanks, Mr. J. West, man. We love you too, man. Have fun on the sand, dude. Wish we yeah. were there too. You guys really helped me get through this past two months with no job. Finally happy and have a job I like. Have a good night, guys, and may the force be with you. Hey, that's awesome, Nick. I'm happy awesome, to hear man. you're enjoying life, dude. That's great. 100%, bro. Yeah, kill that Little job, wins. Bro. Yeah, Little wins, well. man. Stack them up, stack them up, and then go after bigger ones. That's all that matters, bro. Simple life. My theory is Vader does find out that Obi is protecting Luke, but the part that still Anakin decides not to pursue and keep it from the Emperor, that would be such a massive retcon. I don't necessarily hate it. What, <laughs> I, I what hate do it. you think? I hate <laughs> I, it? I yeah. Like, yeah. That would be such a massive retcon. Dude. People would be so pissed, dude. People would freak for sure. I don't yeah. necessarily even hate it that much, but people would freak. It's just so not Vader, right? I think. He doesn't even know who it would Luke make is you re until... yeah it would make you look at the whole thing differently, the whole and that's not what you want. No. Yeah, 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 I don't want that. No, I mean the, the moment Vader's redemption begins is when he meets Luke, when he starts to find out that Luke is his son, yeah, and then it leads into Return of the Jedi and and uh, <clears throat> that's when you know his arc is really starting to to come to an end. Yeah, I agree. We live stream Lego Star Wars. Yes, dude. Uh, is it coming out at midnight tonight? Yeah, that's what people are saying. Because there's somebody midnight? saying like two hours or three hours away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh shit. Okay, uh, chat. Do you want me? Please spam one if you want me to stream at midnight tonight when it comes. You got it downloaded? I guess. No, I don't think it'll take long. You don't think so? Okay. I don't know what I should get it for though. I think I'll get it on PS5. Yeah. I think I'll, yeah. I think, I think I'll do it on console. Damn, that many of you? I mean, it's hype, dude. People are hyped on it. I mean, to be Damn. honest with you, if you start it up, okay. I'll I'll watch a little bit tonight too. We'll okay, yeah, up. I can do that. I can do that. And then I guess we can do we can start a stream later in the day tomorrow. Then, if I go for like four hours or something tonight, like we can kind of like split it up. Yeah. Okay, I could do that. Sure. Um, I know all my East Coasters and Europeans and Australians and everything will love that. So, okay, yeah, let's do it. Boom. Let's do it. I guess I got to. Uh, I can start downloading right now, actually. So yeah, you should do that. Yeah, yeah. Let me uh, pull up the next one. I can go on it. That's cool. I haven't fired up my PS5 in months, dude. Mm. Literal months. What if it's like it has all these updates? Oh man, could be trouble. Probably, yeah. Probably. I'm, I'm gonna start it up right now. Okay. Yeah, uh, go JP on. says end credit. Obi Wan watching an older Luke near attack of the or. A New Hope, reusing deleted scenes, Tashi Station plus Luke flying in a skyhopper with Bullseye, Womp Rats, and Banthas. I wouldn't be against any of that, man. Um, 
no, 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 no. He's saying for the Kenobi. Like the end credit would be Kenobi watching an older Luke. Um, I don't think that he necessarily needs to watch an older Luke. And some of the things that I've heard about, like the scenes between him and Luke, and it seems dope, dude. It seems like it's well thought out, very emotional. It's going to hit us all right in the feels. So uh, I hope so, dude. Yeah. But stuff like that's fun, too. I wouldn't mind seeing that kind of stuff. What's the one thing you don't want to see from this show that you think would just like be... Ah, dude, so the thing yeah it's like a hard it's a hard one to answer because it's not a singular thing that i would see it's mm-hmm. that if the show feels hollow like it's just a kenobi like fun fest and it doesn't feel like it's appropriate to the tone that it should be like basically like my worst fear is that it's just a corporate product and that right. it's not going to have that feeling but that's right. hard to express. Like, I don't know what that would exactly look like, but it's more like just a feeling. You know what I mean? If it just feels like, no, nah, man, this ain't really these characters are like, this is just somebody saying he's Kenobi or like, you know what I mean? If it doesn't right. like feel like it fits, like, yeah, that's bad. or he's making some L decisions and you're like, what the hell is this? Mm hmm. Mandalore with 20 bucks and he's a member says hello there just became a member theory thank you man I post birthday gift to myself been me hearing rumors of Papa Palpatine popping into Obi-Wan do you know if there's any substance to that also heard whispers for season two of Book of Boba Fett thoughts well that would be nice I haven't heard any rumors of that have you no I mean unfortunately I don't know about the Palpatine stuff there was a time when I thought yes now I'm sort of leaning towards no but uh, I'm hopeful that there's some mysteries still in Kenobi, that even through all these leaks and rumors that we've talked about, that there's still mysteries. So that could be one of them. But, uh, yeah, Mandalore is awesome. He was in my chat earlier and stuff. And, uh, yeah, man, happy birthday and hope he's doing well. Yeah, happy birthday, man. Do you think uh, Palpatine popping into Obi-Wan? I do think that would happen. I think it would happen as Palpatine could be either uh, seen from behind his seat, maybe like turned around, or we could uh, see him in a hologram or something talking to Vader. Yeah, All that is definitely a possibility, which I would love to see. I would love it, too. Bro, you know we're still covering Super Chats from before the stream? What? <laughs> from before it started. Yeah. My God. Yeah. Dang, yeah. people are just getting it in, huh? It's organic, and I got the high ground hits blinker. Uh-huh. <laughs> Your friendly neighborhood Italian. Yeah. And nice, dude. Well done. I Thank love you. that uh, emoji. It's one of my favorites. Mm-hmm. Also, Josh, you had a killer stream today, but you're still... Eh. Eh. much love my guy hey i appreciate that i appreciate it so thank you man hey it's our favorite guy star wars, star wars mansplain. Mansplain. what's yeah, up ready man. have a great show guys thanks man see yeah Still from the beginning thank you bro yeah that's awesome appreciate, you, appreciate that yeah smb it's smb's birthday man he's always pretty active uh i love Happy you guys birthday, josh both wait what i don't know what the <laughs> I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. But like a Star Wars comes out tonight, theory. Okay. Um. Yeah. I. I got. I'm waiting for a long super chat so Josh can read it so I can go. Josh looks my, like uh, Will Wheaton from Star Trek. I mean, Will Wheaton's cool. I'm down. I don't yeah. mind looking like Will Wheaton. I don't. I. So he did. What I know Will Wheaton from is back in the day he would do a lot of board game reviews, but that's like a normie. Hmm. I, I'm sure he does a lot more stuff, and I guess he's on Star Trek. So good for him. Are you going to play the sequels? Ah. Uh, I, I don't was want thinking to. that too. I was questioning yeah, that. I, I was wondering, I, I, like, I don't want to. We'll have to wait. Turn the game off when it gets to those parts. I might just skip to Mando. Definitely. Yeah. Or well, maybe you can. Works. Maybe that's something they have in there as functionality. So. Yeah, I I don't know. You don't want to see Ben Swallow? I, I definitely want to. I definitely want to please chat, but also. Yeah. Josh is so super thick. He makes people look not thick. <laughs> Amen. I don't know what that means. Yes, it again. Theory's chest is busting through that shirt. No, it's just a it's a baby small shirt. Just a just a baby small shirt. It's it's a baby. It's extra 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 small. There you go. Uh, Rabi, uh Roboto okay. Studio says if there's an end credit scene, as long as it's not as bad as the Morbius one that makes no sense, and as good as the Sonic Two one, bring it. Yo, that's cool. Um, I don't know much about the Sonic one. That one's escaped me. I am gonna go check that movie out. Obviously, I know about the Morbius one. And I appreciate the love, and yeah, dude, that Morbius movie. Holy shit! So, oh, you didn't like it? I didn't see it. Is it out? Bro, I yeah. Oh, it's out. Like I haven't Disney? even. Uh no 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 so it's a Sony movie, but uh. So what are you watching? Bruh, 
You'd have to go to the theaters, bruh. It is oh. the laughing stock of comic book movies right now. People are clowning on it so hard. I haven't even seen it, and I've made I don't know at this point a couple streams, a couple videos shitting on it. Like it's bad. Really, dude? Why is yeah. he getting all the L superhero movies? I don't know. I don't know. That's a good question, Poor man. I, yeah. I don't think he just doesn't care, dude. He doesn't give a crap. He's like, whatever. I mean, he just. I don't even know if he got paid that much for this one. Oh, no. The budget was only 75 mil. So. So it wasn't done by Marvel. No, this was completely done by Sony. Yeah. But they did No Way Home. With Marvel's help. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so that's what's really weird, dude, is like all these Marvel fans are they're really mad at Sony because, yeah, like they worked with Marvel and made this amazing movie. We're all excited to see like is Toby or Andrew coming back and then Sony lays a big old turd in Morbius and you're like, how am I supposed to get excited about this stuff now? Like you guys. Well, is Morbius a big character? Not now. Now they're gonna move right past. You know what I mean? But yeah, I mean they. I guess he's not showing up in the other movies. No, I mean they did post credit scenes to like bring in culture and stuff. Oh, dude, back in the day, the '90s Spider-Man Morbius was awesome, dude. I remember stuff with Blade was sick. But uh, yeah, unfortunately, uh, a lot of suck. A lot of suck. I heard they're gonna. Yeah. Well, I do want to see it. I I want to, but it's. I mean, what's my motivation, really? You know what I mean? Like, everybody's crapping on At this point, I would just be watching it to confirm or deny it, whether it's shit, you know? <laughs> yeah, you called it. There's an update right now. Uh, I heard they're going to release the first two episodes on the Friday because they're going to show them at Celebration like they did with Episode Nine trailer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, makes sense. Makes sense, for sure. Did you see the Kenobi's... Did you see Kenobi's was confirmed to be only five episodes now? They're combining episode one and two into a giant one episode. Who said that? I think it's still six. It's still six. They're just doing two episodes that first night. It's going to be like a movie, dude. The first one. Yeah. It will only be five weeks, but yeah. Sadly. yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, well. Would Disney have been better doing episodes 10, 11, and 12 than doing 7, 8, 9? No, I don't think so. Yes, it would have been copying Lucas, but it worked before. Oh, I, so. I see what he's saying. So go a little bit further. I don't think so. And no. do it. Yeah. No, nah, I mean, people have been waiting 40 years for episode seven. Mm-hmm. You know, we want to know what happens with Luke. This is him in his prime. So, yeah, people were very, very expectant, very excited. And, you know, you want to see Luke kick some absolute ass. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But, uh, you know. <laughs> Yo. But here we are. Hey, Theory. Heard you want to give your celebration passes away. Check their site about how to transfer tickets through the official exchange system. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know there was an official way to do that. Yeah, I gave one to Sawyer and... Did I get... Where... What happened to the other one? I don't know what I did with the other one. Um, I want to give that one away, but... And that's kind of cool. That's good that they can do that. Oh, okay. Yeah, whatever. I'll do it later. Sorry, guys. I'm, I'm buying the game. Buy it. I heard a rumor there could be Fallen Order 2 news during Celebration. Oh, absolutely, dude. Could they be giving us live-action Cal and Kenobi? That'd be great. Yeah. Yeah, so there's some cool things with regards to that because apparently they're going to do a new design of the purge troopers that you'll see really in the, yeah that you'll see at celebration for fallen order two and then they're actually going to pop up in kenobi the new design as well so yeah it should be cool man really mm-hmm. well i guess okay so this is five years after um jedi fallen order so mm-hmm. i guess they could have changed mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. it's gonna be dope dude i'm excited what do you guys think about is this you yeah it's all good what do you guys think about the leak scene and it being a jedi that's not obi-wan fighting Vader? thanks for all that you do you're both the best uh thanks aiden i think it's possible that's not kenobi actually but it's probably kenobi in that leaked video <laughs> yeah i think so man there's i mean yeah they i mean they, they had a, a character that looked like kenobi who turned out to be master bar in the comics, but I really don't think that they would do something like that. Well, we don't really see his face or whatever. 
I think there's possible there's other Jedi. Rogue. Jedi. Could be yeah. another Jedi. Hey, it could, could be. be another Jedi. Yeah, could be. Yeah, Dusty Man. <laughs> yo, I didn't even see it, yo. But I mean, yeah. Well done, Dusty. Thanks, Dusty. Someone start a petition to make Gary the Stormtrooper canon. He's the goat. That Star Wars. Damn, Brady, you Brady. always yeah, on every it, week, bro. bro. He's always on it, man. Yeah, He's every week, bro. A blunt it. plus nerd theory equal good night. Greetings from Greetings the Netherlands, from my dude. Nice, no, dude. that's awesome, man. Chilling in the Netherlands with a the blizzy. You know, I've only smoked once. I do know that. I've in only smoked life. once today. So, <laughs> Jensen Baker says, "Look at your calendar. Miss Marvel is June eighth. Moving Kenobi's first two episodes did nothing for Miss Marvel pilot episodes. If you didn't say that, okay. Did it really?" Uh... Hey guys, I'm not I'm not finding Lego Star Wars. Look at your calendar. Oh, I got it. Never mind. Jensen, why do you do this? Um, what do you guys which one do you guys want me to get? The deluxe edition or the regular edition? I don't even what's the difference? What's up, guys? What do you think the galaxy would be like? Is Yoda defeated Sidious and Anakin defeated Obi Wan? I've been look what are you doing right now? Are you did, did, I'm trying to look there... at what he was saying? He was saying, look at your you calendar, saying? it doesn't affect uh Miss Marvel at all. Oh. Deluxe. Everyone's saying deluxe. Okay. I should purchase that one, my worthy apprentices. So it's still going to overlap? Is that what we're saying here? Does it? It might. Download. Okay, download. Let's go. Oh, damn. Classic Obi Wan trooper character. Hmm. I'm excited. I'm excited to play tonight. It's going to yeah, be, be fun, dude. It's going to be super cool. I don't know, Jansen. I mean, I guess you were right on that last one, but I is can't he right? Guess. I don't know if he's right or not. I literally search things on the internet for like part of my job, and I'm dumbfounded right now. I can't do it. Oh, dude, I could have done this later. It's going to take six minutes to download. Oh, for real? <laughs> yeah. 30 gigs. I feel like it's going to be more probably. It's probably going to be like some update after or whatever. I don't know who knows. Who knows? Better to have it now. Ryan Miller says nothing but 10 bones. Thank you, dude. Yo, Jensen's right. They're still going to overlap. What the? That's weird. That isn't weird. Hmm. Oh, well. Um, yo, Deadpoolio says, I love you, but must you spoil things like this? Otherwise, keep up the great work. Thank you, man. I don't think this is a spoiler. I think this just makes people more aware that there's an end credit scene after episode two. Yeah. I mean, technically it's rumor. We don't even know for sure. It's like somebody saying they're, they're pulling together all this different information and they think this is what it's going to be. Uh, and ultimately like maybe they had that at one time and they cut it. Maybe it'll be something completely different. Like we don't know. I, I think uh, speculation and, and drawing conclusion on what people are saying is just a part of the fun. You know, your microphone's sounding a little grievous esque. What? It grievous it up. Yeah. A little bit. Uh oh, that's not good. What should I do? Off topic, but Boba ending seems to let on that Cobb Vanth will be the new Daimyo. And Boba saying he's not cut out for it, then cutting to Cobb Vanth and back to thoughts could very well be. I would hope so, but that would kind of make the episode or the whole show pointless. Yeah, it would really make it weird because it's like handicapped by being stuck in that place the whole time, and then he's just gonna leave. Like that just feels like weird, but maybe, mm -hmm. maybe. It's possible. Um, I want to get to this big super that was just sent. Hundred bucks. Hundred bones from Snoko Zas. Snoko. Yeah, he was in my chat earlier too. Thank you, dude. We appreciate that. Yep. Hey, bros, love the content. Shout out from a Wahoo theory. Thoughts on maybe a short series, maybe four episodes of just Order sixty six content. Josh, thoughts on a buddy comedy with Venom and Mood Knight. Bonding over the voices in their head. Yes, I'm a few blinkers deep. <laughs> right on, man. A few. A few blinkers. A short series, maybe four episodes of just Order 66 content. Yeah, that'd be cool. You want me to combine them? Dude, that would be wild. Like the perspective all my of Order 66 one. videos. Because like you because some of them must have escaped, but that would be so intriguing. Like, does he actually escape or does he just get whacked or whatever? Well, that's the thing I'm working on right now with I'm literally going back. Uh, in my Vader episode two script, and I'm just like changing a whole bunch of stuff. Mm. Yeah, yeah. And this is the beauty of not releasing it right away. Yeah, 
is that you have so much time to tinker. True, true, yeah. Uh, Buddy Cop Comedy with Moon Knight and Khonshu would be pretty hilarious for sure. Um, a lot of people said that that did remind them of Venom with that Khonshu voice or whatever. So, yeah, I think that'd be kind of fun. I'm excited, man. Moon Knight episode two tomorrow. Well, I guess technically Wednesday, but yeah. Do you remember what the last Super Chat was? Like who, who we were talking to? Do you remember his name? Because I'm trying uh, to get to it now. Unfortunately not. Unfortunately I not. I don't want to skip anyone. My worthy apprentice. I'm not sure. Uh, let's see here. See if I can like scroll up and see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I think was it the there. homie from Denmark? Uh, I don't think so. Oh, it was about spoiling stuff, maybe or no? This dude was no, it wasn't him. It wasn't him. It was yeah, him. I think it was this one. Was it this one? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think so. We just didn't read it. It yet. was. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, I'll take it. it. Sup, guys? What do you think the galaxy would be like if Yoda defeated Sidious and Anakin defeated Obi-Wan? I've been looking forward to nerd theory all day. May the force be with you both. Uh, appreciate that, Rusty. This is a pretty popular one. Uh, people t ask this a lot, actually. Damn, I don't think I've ever done that fan fiction. What if... Because I've always done like one or the other, but I've never done if they both won. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And then they'd have to fight right yoda and anakin hey chat is josh's uh microphone doing that thing or is it just on my end maybe it's because yeah. i'm downloading something so my my internet's being Ooh, used, yeah so. it could be could be does he sound um, okay to you guys yeah let us know let us know right i can turn it down i can turn it up it's probably it just on my end what if anakin beat obi-wan mm. and palpatine uh, it's just on my. They say you're fine. Okay. Be Yoda. Okay. Cool. Got it. Cool. Got it. Cool. In. We good. Cool. 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 Hmm. Thanks, Rusty. Yeah, that would be cool, though. It's a fun fan fiction. It would be neat. I'm gonna make that one for sure. Okay, the game is installed. It comes Boom. In two hours. There you go. Boom. Shaka laka. Boom, Jagalanga. This top maybe was one we just well, no, we we did go over this actually. Oh, right, we did. Right, so maybe yeah. we skipped that one by accident. Maybe we did. Sorry. Now well, we got it. I want to thank you guys in the chat for the prayers and wishes. Surgery went well. Received, removed tumor. Find out I need chemo next week. Thank you guys. Dude, glad you removed it. Glad it was a success. Um chemo is no joke, but everyone gets through it and you will be fine, man. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah yeah you I'm gotta sure. do it my cousin just got through a, a really crazy situation and the thing is man you're young you look young in your picture um and your body it, it's gonna be rough but you'll be able to take it better than an older person would and you need to kill every last bit of that shit bro and then you cannot take any chances so you know you might feel like you don't even need it but don't take the chance just go through it chance, all just and, you know yeah just fight through it, man, and uh, you'll be better on the other side. Just remember, in the end, you'll look like me. But then it'll grow back, and you'll be fine. Yeah, yeah, you'll probably, <laughs> probably, probably grow back. Yeah. yeah. Uh, can you do a fanfic of Django Survive? Yeah, sure. For sure. It'd be fun. Holy shit, I made a Nerd Theory Live. Yeah. Greetings and salutations. I'm, I'm hogging all of these. I'm sorry. It's all good. It's I'm all so good. used to just like... Pfft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Greetings and salutations from New Zealand. Big fan of the Nerd Theory. Dude, What's that's up, awesome. Kiwi Collector? I love he's that. Got, he's got the uh, gauntlet thing. So many action gauntlet. figures there, man. Living life. Living that nerdy dream, man. Oh, that's shit. Cool. Those are action figures. That was a brick yeah. wall. Yeah. Brick wall of figures. Straight money. About to grind Lego Star Wars all day. Love you guys and love the show. Best witches, says Jeremy. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate you. Best wishes, man. Jer. Finally catching on live. Keep up the great work. Thank you, dude. Is that Seattle Seahawks? Yeah, with like a Superman thing. That's cool. Yeah, that's cool. Is that football? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. I think Vader will win first fight versus Kenobi. Oh yeah, yeah dude, hundred percent. I think he's gonna send Kenobi packing his 
lunch back He's to gonna freaking Tatooine. Bust him up. Yeah. Oh no, it's Dusty Man. The- oh no. I mean, three out of ten, bro. Uh, yeah. I just want to say, we were to have a role in Kenobi series as either an Inquisitor version of Star Killer or even playing Maul in live action. Love you both. Love you too, man. Yeah, Sam Witwer cool. would be cool in that show. In any show. Uh, yeah. Playing in Maul, though, nobody should play Maul live action other than Ray Park, in my opinion. Yeah. Yeah, unless they get somebody that can, like, perfectly mimic his his things. Bro, Ray Park's Maul. It's just, that's just how I see it. I, yeah, I don't know. Jerome King says, hey, Theory and Josh, love you too and all the content you make. Unfortunately, my dad was diagnosed with lymph node cancer, and uh, I don't know how to pronounce Squamous that. Squamous cell carcinoma. It's something I thought I had. If you could help, uh, link is in the comments. Thanks. Yeah, man, that is rough for sure, man. Um, Very sorry to hear that. Yeah. I mean, I don't know too much about that, but that feels that sounds like bad. Yeah. I, I don't know where the link is because it's this was probably it hour and a half ago but um if you want to drop it in in the chat go ahead feel free man yeah yeah and throw it in uh you can hit me up on twitter or something like that i could throw it in my discord and see if anybody wants to help out as a rule i usually unfortunately don't do a lot of stuff like that just because it's tough and you can never know you know what i mean but uh yeah we we never do these these kind of things because we get hit up with that stuff all the time it's like people think we're uh we're like a a bank or something but you know for for serious situations we're always there to help it's just hard for us to discern who is serious and you know we've been scammed many times too so mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yeah but well wishes for sure man that is crazy sounds bad yeah i hope he recovers man 100 percent. imagine in a new hope if is this you go for it sorry uh no it's all good uh imagine if in a new hope if obi-wan didn't actually disappear but quickly disrobed and got uh-huh. chased around the death star yo that would be Damn. crazy that's fun. It's a fun idea. Damn. <laughs> uh, if someone can find the link uh, from Buddy, then feel free to post it. Man. Yeah, yeah. Second super chat ever. Love you guys. Can't wait to see Vader call Obi Wan, dude. I know, right? It's gonna be crazy. Yeah, dude. It's absolutely be intense. And it's even be that intense. like little deleted scene that we saw, I think it was cool. Okay, it looked it looked mm-hmm. good. Yeah, dude, it's literally like nothing, and I was still like, "This is awesome!" Like, you know suit. what I mean? That was the suit, bro. That was one hundred percent the the. You legit think it's real? Mm-hmm. Okay, I think yeah. so. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm leaning towards yes, but I mean, pe- people are so good. Did you see the fake stuff that came out for Spider Man? No, like there. So there was like real, bro. One of the wildest things I've ever seen was somebody did a fake video debunking the real leak of Andrew Garfield, and they they had me. They had me the whole way where I was like, oh, dude, no, that's not real. I can't believe it. And then you, then the guy was like, no, I faked that. Here's how I did it. And you're just like, whoa, like, dude, people are crazy these days, man. Yeah. Hello there from Australia. Uh, would love a John or a Dave and John made Thrawn movie. Where would you like to see character like Mar Jade or Sabaoth be introduced, says Tom? Probably in Mando. We could do it there. Yeah. Mando three, Mando four, maybe Ahsoka. Um, yeah, I'm down. Bad Batch. You can even start there with Mel yeah. Why not? I'm down. I'm Thanks, down. Tom. Yeah. Question for Josh: What is your favorite character in the Mass Effect series? I'm a Garrus Chad for sure. Let me. Yo, Garrus is good. Uh, I like Rex uh, quite a bit as well. I mean, come on, Shepard's awesome. Uh, you know what was the 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 main bad guy? I think in the third one that Martin Freeman played the the guy that like knew everything he was a really cool character too but i'd say probably garris uh maybe rex rex was dope bro the krogan you ever play those games no i did not hmm. i meant clap not call that force yeah yeah we, we figured <laughs> yeah 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 that's funny though because it's like a second super chat ever and he made a, <laughs> a and he's like, yeah, just... yeah, that's funny that's yeah, funny we we get you man yeah. yeah i'm excited to see it too i want to see him clap some cheeks yeah for sure <laughs> Oh, show. Hey, babe, maybe... touch my camera through the fence. Oh, okay, I... we'll do, Polly. For sure. It's all, I'm all about it. All right. Vader. Oh, my oh, God. No. <laughs> Yo. Oh, no. Peter B. Parker. Oh, man. Hey, boys, huge fan of the show. You guys are the highlight of my Mondays. And what aspect do you think Mark Hamill would be in the Kenobi show? I don't think he's involved at all. I don't you know. No, he's, yeah. Uh, Luke and Kenobi show is like a little baby. It's like 10. Yeah. 
yeah, so Mark Hamill, I mean, <laughs> he wouldn't be in there. Dude, that that would be hilarious though. Like, what if like it's like a little baby face, but like Mark Hamill, like just kind of his voice on there, yeah. And he like takes the little gift that Kenobi gives him and throws it over his shoulder. Like, why not? <laughs> at this point, jeez. Oh, hey guys, I'm 15, and I want to get your opinion on something. I want to write a gritty and dark war story about a clone or a mud trooper. Should I do it? I have so many ideas. Yeah, obviously you should do it for sure. Yeah, you should do it, man. Fan fiction's super fun. Um, writing in general is fun. So yeah, get get yeah. after it. Yep. Exercise your creativity, man. Absolutely. Cole says, "Do we know who Ice Cube's uh, Sean O'Shea Jackson Jr. is playing? Ice Cube's son is in the show. Uh, it's the yeah." It's the dude who played Ice Cube in NWA. Really? Mm -hmm. Straight out of Compton. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, that's cool. I don't. I don't know who he's playing. I don't know if we know. I could look it up. But... I don't think anybody knows. But... Yeah. Yeah. Y'all, <laughs> your voice better start growing out them Kenobi beers. P.S. Have you thought about doing a real live theory in a theater? Uh, maybe at next celebration. Yeah, something like that would be super fun. Like doing nerd theory live. In for like a panel, yeah, yeah you know, get yeah, everybody together, that. yeah, it'd be super fun, yeah, if they would have us, yeah. yeah. I hope the two episode release for Kenobi means they're addressing the pacing issues from book, hmm. book, 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 book was yeah. so even un so uneven in quality and pace. Ah, book of Boba. Yeah, I think that's fair, uh, Taylor. And maybe you're right. I mean, you know, if they're doing it just for pacing purposes and they're like, we think people will respond better to having two and then going from there, I'm down. And that's also part of the cool thing about streaming. You know, you have that option. Probably, yeah, because, I mean, the first episode is always slow. It's setting things up, right? Like yep. Moon Knight, I saw it. I was like, mm -hmm. okay, yep. this felt like a trailer. Mm -hmm. But it was setting things up and now it's like we're ready to go. Yep. So maybe this will do the same, and then episode two will actually be like, yeah, that's such a good that's such a good uh, example too. Because I think depending on how episode two goes, Moon Knight itself might have been served better. Although I guess the the stats have come out, and it's actually pretty widely watched. But you know, maybe you know you would have maybe liked it a little more if it had been the two, right? You know what I mean? Could give you a little more so, to go yeah. on, a little yeah. more, right? Did you want to just like start and then stop right where it's going to really begin? Because there's so many questions after Wait that episode of Moon Knight. You're just like, what? Like, what just happened? You know what I mean? So, yeah. 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 Uh, see here, Christian says, hey, Theory and Josh would love for your reactions to my Star Wars sleeve, which is my uh, DP. I think he means profile picture. Oh, that's, that's sick, awesome. dude. Yeah, that looks super cool, bro. That's really well done. Yeah. I can't see it super well, but that's a dope sleeve, bro. I'm sure that was a lot of work. Oh, yeah, whoever did that must have been really talented, too. Yeah, that's that great. Legit. I love how dark it is, too. Mm -hmm. Super yeah. cool. Yeah. Looks real nice. Chris, dude, good job. Yeah, yeah. Yo, Spaceman, what's up? Yo, Logan, what's up, dude? Guitars and Death Stars. The interesting what if scenario. What if Padme never fell pregnant? Love you, boys. Nerd Theory gets me through. Thank you for joining, man. Yeah, nerd theory gets us through the week too. Yeah, man. Uh, what if she know, never felt pregnant? Uh, <laughs> yeah, that would change a lot. Dude. It would change a lot. You wouldn't I mean, have anything to be afraid of. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, that that changes a lot. I don't even know. But it was the will of the force. So yeah, had to happen. Yeah, not Star Wars related, but theory. What's the best ending for Terry Silver? I think Ooh. him dying could be cool. If he got arrested, it'd be lame. Ooh, okay. I think the best ending for Terry Silver would be. I mean, I don't really think there's any sort of room for redemption with Terry Silver. I think he's just he's just that dude. He's like Palpatine, you know? Right. And I feel like for a character like that, you either got to kill them, or they're just going to keep growing stronger, or there's got to be someone who comes in who's more powerful than them. Maybe his yeah. teacher. You know? Yeah, I mean that's what's so fun about Cobra Kai in general is that it's it's become kind of like comic bookies or like anime, like because at this point like so like he's like he took over, you know what I oh, mean? Yeah, it, it, it looks like he's gonna be the one to be trifled with next season, and mm -hmm. you know they could 
they could diminish him they could put him away for a while it's like think of your favorite anime villain or whatever like they could do all those kind of things to to him so who knows yeah i miss making cobra kai content man i, I really want to get back to it yeah do we all want the next season yeah show's yeah. fire dude if you guys like it go to my cobra kai channel cobra kai theory you yeah. know i just interviewed uh jacob bertrand about a month ago nice 21st b day tomorrow screw drinking i'm gonna be playing lego star wars the skywalker saga nostalgia is an awesome gift can't wait for your streams may the force be with you dude happy birthday great choice not drinking and just playing some cool games yeah man and drink is not for everybody man you know what i mean like some people yeah. don't like i don't really drink that much anymore at all so uh you know whatever uh gets you through the day makes you happy whatever floats your boat as they say mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we should do one stream i think where we're just plastered <laughs> for sure that could be a fun live show too that's what i'm saying like yeah yeah that would be fun yeah, yeah. just a live one where we were just like <laughs> just taking shots to the face we could do like a shot for every uh so many no that, that's that's you're killing your yeah, liver at that dangerous yeah that would yeah. get dangerous 100%. Yeah, be yeah. Okay, but yeah. uh it'd be cool if we could like go somewhere one day and rent out a bar or something mm -hmm. yeah. and we just do the show well, at one point Live we were, show. yeah, I remember at one point we were going to, uh, like try to take over the galaxy's edge, uh, bar, uh, at celebration. We were going to oh, get like yeah, hire dude. the five Oh first to oh, be like man. security and stuff. But I mean, look, neither of us are going now. Like what, how much, you know, so. <sighs> yeah, maybe, the year after. maybe, the, maybe next year, I mean, maybe, maybe the next celebration. That'd be nice. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. Mr. It's J not, West, it's not every year is it? watching Mando. Well, it's no, it hasn't every year now. It, every they, other year. Before, well, it's so weird because it wasn't every year, but then literally the year that it got canceled because of Rona and everything, they were about to go yearly. Mm -hmm. They were about to. They were going to pull the trigger on that. So I don't know what they're going to do now, but yeah. 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 Well, we'll see. It'll be fun for those who are going. Mr. J. Westman fell asleep watching Mando. You're welcome, Disney. <laughs> Disney sure might be doing billions come from is Mr. <laughs> J. West. <laughs> Disney might be doing this because Stranger Things season four comes out on Friday, so they probably want to go. They they probably want to go head to head with Netflix. I feel like they wouldn't want to go head to head. That's with my thing, right? Like I I almost feel the opposite. Why would they, you know? I almost feel like they did. They looked at the calendar afterwards, and they'd be like, like, "Oh wait, no, when? no, Stranger Things season four, you know." But I mean, it wouldn't affect anything. I don't think. Yeah, it's almost they're they're almost different. You know, like that, because people are going to watch Stranger Things no matter what. But I don't know that there's that same sort of spoiler culture and like wanting to have that zeitgeist conversation around Stranger Things. Like Stranger Things feels more just intimate. And you're like, yeah, like I'm going to watch this at my pace or do whatever. Right. Like Ken Kenobi, it's like, bro, I got to. Know. I have to. Yeah. And you can't go online. It's almost like you're exiled from the Internet until you've watched it because people be spoiling like crazy, you know? Yeah. I mean, so. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So, guys, don't worry about spoilers. I'm going to be uh, using some non-spoiler thumbnails yeah. as well as titles. Um, but after two days, I'll be spoiling the crap out of it. So, yeah. Warn. Yep, that's probably about just, what just I'll do. Just don't go on the too. internet if you care about it that much. 100%. You got to watch out for yourself on this. You know what I mean? Like, we'll do the best we can, but you guys got to... You gotta do it too. But at the end of the day, you know, we're looking out for the people who have seen it and want to know the breakdowns, want to watch the videos. Hundred percent. But we're still going to curb our uh, our content for you guys too for a couple of days for, for those yeah, yeah. who don't care as much or can't watch it. First hundred percent. You think Lucasfilm will ever make Legends canon? Nope. Yeah, probably not, bro. Maybe They'll aspects. bring in. At, yeah, exactly. They'll bring in parts, but yeah, never. They ain't gonna do that. Never. Can't wait for Skywalker Saga. So much potential, says King Green. Man, yeah, see people it, are hyped up for this. See you tonight for the stream, man. Love you guys. Ahsoka show is going to have the most minutes because people will rewind scenes of Ahsoka. Oh, Jesus. That's you like think Titanic, the voice, man. Titanic. You think the voice actor for Jar Jar and Skywalker Saga will win an Oscar? Surely bound to be a performance for the ages. I hope so. I hope it's on the best. Probably not. Is it not on my best? I was going to say, like, that's kind of interesting. I would hope it would be. Do you think Kenobi stays strapped or keeps his saber hidden and gets it out for Vader slash Inquisitors? Maybe he'll use any saber to, in the show somehow. That's a really interesting question, and I'm not sure how to answer it. I think at some point he won't have his he saber, but ultimately hidden. he's going to have his saber. So I think he, he hides it. Mm. 
Well, the hell's my yeah. guitar pick? Oh, well. I don't know. Be careful with that. I know friends have, like, swallowed. Uh... What? Yeah. Well, because they love, like, flipping it around in their mouth and doing, like, cool stuff. And they're like, <laughs> then it's like, <clears throat> yeah. And you die. Pretty much, bro. Did they live? They live, but one of them had to get it, like, t- taken out. Oh. Like, had to go to the hospital. Yeah. Oh, no. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it can be bad. Did you guys see, ever see the four and a half hour supercut of Revenge of the Sith from the numeral Joker on Reddit? Hell of a project. I did not. I don't even know what that is. Sounds cool, though. <laughs> they probably just put the Clone Wars and mm, mm. Revenge of the Sith together, I bet. Hmm. That sounds cool. How did How Bail build... Organs know? <laughs> 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 no, Obi was still alive. Um, what, what do you mean? He saw him yeah. in uh, Revenge of the Sith at the end. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they had correspondence. The whole point was that the twins would eventually come to age and yeah, I don't know, do something. I will play Angel. Yeah, I'll yeah, yeah. See you guys tonight for the live stream. I'm so hyped for Lego Star Wars: The Skywalker Saga. Got the digital deluxe edition for Switch and classic Obi Wan looks sick. Also pre-ordered physical on PS5 to collect them trophies. Damn, dude, Poke Chat is going in on this game. That's cool. Wait, you have to have the physical to collect trophies? What do you mean? No, you don't. No, no, no. I'm saying he just needs the trophies on his PS5 because he's going to get it on Switch either way. Ah, so he's getting two got copies, it. bro. Got he's it. going crazy. Hard. You're going to play it twice. Mm-hmm. A coworker of mine said he. Oh, I'm sorry. That's all good. Uh, said he won't be watching Kenobi because it is going to be the same story as Fallen Order. Man's taking blinkers to the dome. Much love, Wheeze. What? Yeah, it, that's not. Yeah, he's he's he's, he's got not. that messed up. Yeah, he's got that messed up. Theory, are you a fan or more flanker sh- of more flanker shows? Maul, Ahsoka, Can- Kanan. Um, I think he means just like side shows or like ancillary shows. Oh, all. I don't really rank them. I mean, Kenobi is my number one. So, yeah, yeah, I'd be down for all those shows. So, mm-hmm. the Kick Java says, if you were to rank the movies novelizations, would it be different than the movies? Oh, good question. Yes. Hmm. Um. No. Hmm. No. Because the story is still the same. Yeah, I will say, and I didn't read the Scott, the Rise of Skywalker one because I was just like totally checked out at that point. But the novelizations for both The Force Awakens and The Last Jedi were both way better than the movie. So, yeah, absolutely. Hey guys, Theory, I just finished uh, Revenge of the Sith book from your recommendation. It was so amazing and in depth. I really wish more of the book was in the movie. The part where Anakin doesn't get the rank of master, right? I know he's like about to fight Mace Windu. Yeah, he's about to um, smith him, dude. Yeah, dude, he was. And the cool thing is that George signed off on all that stuff. So that's pretty cool. That is cool. That is cool. I'd have to check that out. Uh, Besteg Media might have been asked before, but how can Vader find Obi Wan in the show and not be obsessed about him in the future? I hope they clear the right. That's my question. Mm-hmm. They're going to have to make sense of so many things in the future, though. So. Yes, they will. <clears throat> Jake says, what do you think would happen? I know, I love that. Yeah. If Qui-Gon survived and joined Dooku, also I'll be at Star Wars Celebration, definitely going to spoil Kenobi at the watch party. Uh, What? We'll watch it probably before you. Yeah. Like it's dropping at 3 a.m. or midnight. On There's Thursday. no way they're going to do, yeah, on Thursday. Well, Thursday, 11.59 p.m. kind of thing. There's no way they're going to show it early for people at Celebration. How about that episode one of Moon Knight? Yeah, it was cool. Bruh, if they show it early of people at Celebration, I'm freaking out. Yeah, that'd be annoying. Yeah. Hi, Hey, how are y'all? Just curious. I've been listening to Heir to the Empire books and see shades of it in the Mandoverse. Here's hoping. Dude, I hope. Yeah, Mara Jade's cool. They'd have to change her a lot, but still cool. Cool character. For show. Sure. For show. Sure. Quint, quick, quick, Tim. Quick. Quickstim, Quickstim says, "Hey, theory. Sorry if you've been oh, asked my this friend a made lot. Them. Uh, but where do you get the Death Star panels? Oh, your friend made them. Yeah. Well, tell your friend to make me some. And mm-hmm. you know, geez. it took him like five months. Well, then the next project. time he'll be better. Thoughts on Mom runtime and no Thor trailer." He's talking about Multiverse of Madness. Mm-hmm. Yeah, people are freaking out because Multiverse of Madness is two hours and six minutes. And people were like, it's got to be three hours. I'm like, nah, man, like two hours and six minutes is fine. Like, I'm totally Gucci on that. And no Thor trailer is kind of weird. I'll be honest. It's a little weird, but it'll come. 
You guys, guys are a blessing. blessing. Thanks for all of your hard work. And I can't wait to share these next few years of content with you guys. Have you guys seen the Kenobi style trailer for Revenge of the Sith? No, I have not. I haven't. Seems cool though. And yeah, man, I'm excited, guy. Be going through some cool content together. It'll be super fun. Thanks, guy. Yo, what's up, guys? Have you guys ever heard of the new actor Anita? Yeah, it's a troll. It? It's a troll. It's gotta be. Yeah. It's gotta be. Has to be. <laughs> Thanks, Luke. Yo, have you seen Smallville? Have you seen Smallville. Have you seen it? Dude, I loved Smallville. Smallville was great. Yeah, Smallville yeah. was great. Somebody say, yeah, man. And uh, Remy Michael Zero. Rosenbaum was so good. Just killed it. Oh, it was awesome. I think they shot that in Vancouver. Yeah, probably, probably, maybe, perhaps. Sam Weber was on that too. He was. Uh, what really? He was Doomsday. Wow, that's cool. Right on, man. Right on. Will we ever see a lightsaber get bled? Oof. I mean, it's ripe for the pickings. That's a great visual. You could do some really fun stuff with that cinematically. Please tell me you're streaming Lego Star Wars tonight. I sure am. I will be seeing you guys there at midnight, yo. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Long day of strength, so I want to finish the stream quick so I can... Yeah. yeah. Josh, why are you capping on Will, my dude? I mean, look... Do I occasionally say some stuff just to rile you guys up? Hmm. Absolutely not. I mean it to my core. Will Smith would take the rock in combat. I'm telling you right now, it's going to happen. And also, and also to add to it, the rock within the next 10 years is going to have a similar moment. Watch. Or he's going to slap somebody. I'm telling you right now. Do you think so? He's just going to yep. snap. Yeah, dude. Somebody's going to be like, just talking like mad trash or whatever. And he's gonna like look over and like try to just go know, overboard. He's gonna be like, "Look, Zhao is so dope, and it's about drive and it's about <laughs> power." And the guy's gonna be like, "Yo, you fell off, Rock!" And, he's, and then he's just gonna hulk out and just. Except the difference will be that the dude's head will come clean off <laughs> when Rock does it. He like, just hit someone and started spinning around on the Yeah, dude, it's just like, ah, and then we'll all be like, "Damn!" It turns into the exorcist. Your yeah. mother. Like, ah. Yep. 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 So yeah. there you have it. Yeah. Hopefully not. Oh, uh, that guy Green says Wills. watch MMA. Cool. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Darth Revan's fart. Thanks, man. Well done, Darth Revan's fart. Brady Wells says, almost heaven, West Virginia, Blue Ridge Mountain. Shenandoah River. Life yeah. is old here, older than the trees, younger than the mountains, yeah. blowing like a breeze, country roads. Take, Take me home. Me home. To play. Dude, Fallout, so good. I belong. Although Fallout 76 was not that West great. West Virginia, so. my mama, take me home. Yeah. Take me home. Yeah. Ma. Yeah. Thoughts and prayers for you and your fellow Canadians, Theory. Uh, hope that internet censorship bill won't go too far. Always got a place to go in the U.S., what? Yeah, you hear about this at all? Oh, you don't know about this? What? <laughs> Bro, you better get this Lego stream in while you can. Wait, what do you mean? You know about, about to shut yo shit down. Yeah, this, so there's an internet... C, what is it called? C something or whatever? What? Yeah. I don't watch the news, man. I don't, I don't pay attention to any of this. Stuff. Yeah, yeah. This this is... Uh, I haven't looked too far into it, Just... but it's apparently an internet censorship bill. That's I'll, I'll read it after the stream, I guess. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, I don't, know, I don't know about this crap. What, what was it? It's about drive, it's about power, it's, it's, it's about we stay hungry, we devour, but yeah, is it bad or is it good? Oh, it's it not bad? good, yeah, it's not good. I, I don't know that it'll affect you at all, to be honest with you, but uh, yeah, B, uh, Bill C11 is what this guy's saying, C11. Mm -hmm. okay well anyways yeah uh i always love being here with everybody i can't wait till we can enjoy kenobi together may the force be with you guys hey may the force be with you too hannah glad you're Amen. here we like seeing Thank your face you. every week 100 appreciate you 
love this love the stream. Right. Guys, can update the Discord in the community. Also, Muna is insanely amazing producing and cinematography and acting. Yeah, I would say the cinematography and the acting in episode one floored me. I was like, damn. Like, dude, when he's at the um, dinner and like he's realizing that it's Sunday or whatever, and then he orders the steak as a vegan and stuff, I was like, that was literally one of the best acting right. scenes i've ever seen i was yeah, like this is he's crazy a great actor, man. he's, he's a incredible actor. i was like dude wow yeah. like and the thing that's funny about that is like steven is kind of like like we're to be honest like we're not really here for steven like no offense to steven like we're here for mark specter we're here for moon knight right mm -hmm. but it's crazy that they made the steven grant character like that good he's adorable you know what i mean and we feel super bad for him so yeah <laughs> you want to pick on a guy making fun of your wife you got to go through all of us new yorker <laughs> <laughs> i mean fair fair yeah <laughs> <laughs> that's what i mean though like everybody's got these like narratives about it it's kind of funny uh darth baba says do you think vader's voice will be james earl jones or made by an ai like luke in the book of boba fett interesting question i don't know i don't i hope not i hope it'll be legit but i mean if it sounds real then well but even with Luke, there were some things that sound kind of off a little bit. Yep. Yep. It's still, I mean, it's getting better and better, but yeah, so mm -hmm. it's still, it's probably just not to the point where they could do a whole show yet, you know, but to be fair, they probably they could. only did a little scene and now they've done a whole episode. So mm, true. we're getting, we're getting close. I just remember when he said the Mandalorian wanted you to have this. It just sounded yeah. funny. It sounded odd. Yep. Yep. There's some weird inflections for sure. 20th anniversary of the first Raimi Spider-Man movie is next month. Crazy how time flies. The 2000s were a great time. They sure were. Yes, man. they, they sure were. Were. Yes. I think the best time of my life was 1990 to 2010. Hmm. Good years. 2012. Yeah, that was. Yeah, those were good years, man. Yeah, I loved. Uh, I say especially for cinema and movies, just in general. Like we had such great trilogies and uh, like movies, and then even like when I was all throughout college. Like I would say, two thousand nine was probably in my lifetime the greatest year of movies. Um, but yeah, there's just yeah, good times back then. Oh damn! Lego Star Wars comes out at nine p.m. my time, twelve Eastern. Twelve Eastern, yeah. So two oh, more. Wow! Hours. Yep. Wow! Two, okay. two hours. And we better day. wrap this up. Good. Yeah, wrap it up. Who wins it a duel? Grandmaster Yoda or Yogurt oh, the Wise? Yogurt the Wise. 100%. Yogurt the Wise. 100%, Yogurt the wise. 100 dude. Yogurt the Wise. 100%. It's not even a question. Not even close. If we don't get a live action Wookiee Jedi in the next few years, I quit. Love from Boston. Keep it up, guys. Heard that, Eric. Yeah, I want to cool. see Junji grown all the way up, but turned to the dark side. Bro, you always want to see people go evil. Mm hmm. Miss last week's ep was ultra at Ultra Miami. Hello there. What's Ultra Miami? I don't know. It sounds party? fun though. Yeah, yeah it sounds, sounds cool. Having some death sticks and tending to the Jedi business. Fat naked Jimmy Neutron says, Siri, I set you up with me, ma, but you can't make any jokes about her because she's got alopecia. Otherwise, I'm gonna slap you. But hey, you can get your house. All right, man. Sounds good. Thank Sounds you. Sounds good, Jimmy Neutron. Thanks, yeah, yeah. man. Thanks, bro. <laughs> Fat naked Jimmy Neutron. Pretty sure yeah. it comes out at 10 for us BC boys, right? True. Uh, is it 10 or not? It's like 9, 9 o'clock. Yeah. So. Speaking of Order 66, would you guys be interested in a show about the young Jedi we got an arc with in Clone Wars? I always wondered what happened to them. I always hoped some, some of them survived. survived. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so a little bit of rumorage here, guys, but there's a report that, and I've been talking about this for a little bit, that there's other Jedi than Nari um, in Kenobi. Rumors of a colony of Force-sensitive people on Jabim being in Kenobi. Pretty interesting. So I'd be down. I'd be down. I think there's a possibility of some more of that stuff coming. So If you had to eat sushi off of one of Star Wars characters... What? Off one Star Wars character, who would it be? Mine's Maz Kanata. Jesus. Uh, mm. Probably have to be... General Grievous, because there's no... There's, 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 doesn't taste like anything. It's just mm. a plate, a metal mm. plate. I'd say Ray. Yeah, I'm going to say Ayla Sakura. What? Yeah, she's bad. 
How would you feel if the first scene was Order 66, Grogu cameos, and they reveal who saved him? Too much Grogu? Maybe a little too much Grogu. We'll have to see. Yeah, I don't know if they'll kill it on that, you know? Yeah. Maybe. But, uh, yeah. We'll see. We'll see. We should all be careful with the Luke's... Oh, sorry. No, it's all good. Luke's took a shit. Too much of it. And Disney may hear, not mm-hmm. knowing it's a joke, and then make it can it. Look at what happened with Raylo. Yo, I mean, I dude, you're you're not you're bucking up the wrong tree here because I'm all <laughs> about it, son. Make it look good. So. Yeah, Josh goes to bed being like, "Please, may I wake up in a world where Luke Soka is a thing?" Oh uh, man, and that's I the go thing. to bed saying the opposite. My office is not complete until I have the Luke Soka prayer circle and shrine. So, no, you need that picture that uh, Guille made for my birthday, and you need to like mm-hmm. frame that and put it behind. Yeah, you. man. Yeah, amen. I have the full res if you want. <laughs> oh, that'd be great. That'd be great. How do you guys think Luke and Ahsoka met? And do you think we'll see them meet each other in Kenobi? Love you guys. And they're three. It's funny that, that we get Luke a, so, yeah. I know, right? It is kind of funny, though. What do you think? the? How do they legitimately meet? Because they obviously knew each other. Yeah. They obviously knew each other before Mando season two. So mm-hmm. I don't know. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, know either. There's a lot of mystery for both of those characters around that time. And it's possible they explore that. Um, so, yeah, we don't know, man. I mean, they both could have been searching for perhaps artifacts from the Empire. Mm-hmm. Uh, and they, they could have met on Tython. Yeah, there's yeah, yeah, all kinds of different things for sure. Yeah, it is possible. Mm-hmm. Rusty. Thanks, Rusty. <laughs> Look at What's that, that Josh. What yeah, the, that's you and me. What the hell? Wait, why As, do I get that? Why am I Pat? You're oh yeah. Wait, what? You're Pat me? I thought it was Obi Wan and Anakin, but no, yeah, that's oh, that's geez. funny. <laughs> do a fan fiction on what if Maul killed Palpatine? Maul couldn't kill Palpatine. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one though. <sighs> Maul couldn't kill him. Come on now. Lego game sequel trilogy. They gave Finn more content. Oh, that's cool. Oh, okay, cool. Finn's dope. Imagine, Imagine a scenario where Vader comes to Earth looking for blood. What would it take for us humans to defeat him? <laughs> this is a situation where you sit down, you just stick you your head between tell him, your knees, and you kiss your ass goodbye because there ain't nothing. No, happening. just just tell him you know how to say bad me. you would be like, mm, "What? Okay, right on. Yeah, that's true." And then just like lead him on the whole time. Like, no, no, yeah. wait, wait. Basically, what Palpatine did. True. True. At eighteen, yeah. Kane recently passed sixty-six. Sorry, I haven't I'm updated this in a while. Well, I've been broke recently, so no super chat money, but I supported the boys. Cheers to success. Thanks, man. I don't know what that yeah. means. Yeah, we still never figured it out. D-Man, just let us know, man. Tell us. D-Man, we don't know what that means. Tell us. At 18K and recently passed 66. Damn. 18,000 and recently passed what? Route 66? Maybe. Hmm. I don't know. Chat, do you guys know what it means? What's D-Man Lewis talking about every week? Yeah, what is he talking about? What's he talking about? Watching, Watching you from, from London, <laughs> my biggest dream is to work for ILM and do visual effects for Star Wars. Got into uni that does visual effects. Bro, he just donated five pounds to us and you just murked him. Dude, sorry, man. Look. With the shittiest. Anyone from the UK here? Was that offensive? Is it is it offensive? Cancel, cancel Josh. Is it offensive? Was it offensive when we busted up that empire y'all had? Oh, sorry, freedom. Yeah, we stand with the queen here. So, oh uh, shit, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> Yo, real talk. My mom has a like cardboard cutout, John, of the queen on her car. Really? Yeah. And it's like the most absurd thing. I like she rolled up one time and I'm just like, dude, chat. What? Free chat, dude. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, man. That's funny. Oh, no. <laughs> Mr. Wright says we burned down the White House. It's true. Y'all did that. Y'all, that you were sneaky on that shit, too. Uh, Rob says, I love how almost every interview Mark Hamill disagrees with Ryan Johnson's version of Luke. Of course. Yeah. True. Sure he does say that. Yeah. Can't wait to tag you guys in my fanfic art soon from a local artist I know. Inspo from Fallen Order slash my own live oh, cool. inspiration. What's to come more? Awesome, man. That's good, Zach. Yeah, right cool. On. Looking forward to it, Zach. Right on. Zachola. 
I can see them both retconning Vader not knowing to Vader knowing because Lucas changing the dialogue and Empire to him not knowing Lucas his son made no sense. Guess he chased Luke so adamantly because reasons. Uh, because he was the one that destroyed the Death Star. Mm -hmm. He's like, oh, I want to kill this guy. True. True. Double yeah. true. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't want that to... I don't want Vader to know about Luke. No, like, dude. I yeah, I don't... Uh. No. That would be horrible. Mm -hmm. That'd be whack. And then him not do anything because of that bit of Anakin? No. Yeah. He's supposed to turn into full Vader. That's that's the point. And then mm -hmm. and be like, just not care about anything or anybody. But yeah. have that like sliver, but not enough to actually just like not kill Kenobi. because he's like, I want him to be even more pissed, dude. I yeah. want him to leave the show and be like even more pissed. So mm -hmm. he will. You will thank be. you guys for making this the best B-Day ever. Hey, thank you, SMB. Happy Appreciate birthday, you, man. Appreciate birthday, you. Dude. Glad you're having fun. My fanfic will be set pre-episode one and two at Addy of the Clone War. <laughs> Jedi character with Qui-Gon. Mentally, mentality-ish. Politics involved. Life lessons and such. Thanks. Cool, man. Have fun with it. That sounds, it. Yeah, that sounds awesome. Good for you. Good for you, bruh. Been playing the game. Early episodes 147 are unlocked at the start. Then after the episodes unlock chronologically. That's interesting. Uh, finish episode one, unlock episode two. I spent an hour today exploring Thede's Palace. How'd you play it early? I don't know. Cheese McGriddle, what the hell, bro? Maybe they maybe they sent it to him or something. Yeah. It's possible. Tell us, Cheese. It's possible. Tell us why and how. Hey, Theory and Josh, thank you for getting me through last year. P.S. I make Star Wars inspired clothes for fun. Is there a way I can send y'all some? Send them to Josh. Yeah, yeah I got a P.O. box. Yeah. I don't know what it is, but I got one. Just go on my Discord or something. Someone will hook you up. Yeah, what it is. Thanks, man. You, you guys. A lot of streamers too. have been playing. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Streamers got it early, I guess. Hmm. Nice. Good for them. Yo, guys, you guys are my favorite too. How keep it up? Oh, we love you, man. Thanks, bro. Appreciate you. Appreciate ya. I googled Cast for Kenobi and saw Ice Cube on there. Who do you think he'll be playing as? Ice Cube as well? himself. No, I don't. He's not on it. That must be like a thing. He's not in it. Although, to be honest, I'd be down. Ice Cube in Star Wars, I'd be down. But, no, nah, I don't think so. Uh, first two episodes at once. Maybe to put more focus on Vader. Get the Vaderless episodes out of the way within a week. Also, Den of Goats. Hey, thanks, man. And, yes, I think that's I fair, Jared. Yeah, I think that could be what they're doing. And, obviously, they're not getting out of the way of Miss Marvel, like I said. So, uh, yeah. This this Miss Marvel, is that is this is before the movie or after? Well, Captain Marvel and Miss Marvel are different characters, actually. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. So it'll be... I think her story is mostly isolated, but yeah, she'll... She's she'll another begin, character. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She'll be in the next Captain Marvel movie, I think. And okay. she's going to be a big part of like the Young Avengers and stuff like that. But Okay. Yeah. The only way Kenobi affects Ms. Marvel if it's moved to Friday. Well, no, because... Kenobi's going back to Wednesdays, so it will affect Miss Marvel, it seems, either way. So, yeah. My worthy apprentice. Major fan of what if videos that you've done and your Vader. Have you checked out Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, the mobile game? You ever play that? I have not. It's cool. I got I've got away from it a long time ago, and I've heard it's even better now. But dude, yeah. That movie, bruh, check out the 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 amount of money that movie makes per year. I want to check this out. Thank you, Walking Virus. The amount of money that game makes? Yeah. I don't know. It doesn't interest me. I don't know, maybe it's fun. I'm sure it's fun. I just, I don't know. Probably addicting. Probably makes you want to buy stuff in the game. Love your videos. Thanks for the updates. Thank you, Bo. Thanks for tuning in. We love you too. So it, this game has made 1.4 billion on 100 million downloads. Insane. It's crazy. Each person has been paying like 14 bucks. Yeah, the largest contributors are in the U.S. where players have spent $850 million. <laughs> Bro, what? Wow. Okay. How much has Fortnite made? <sighs> oh, crazy. Let's see. No, is I Moonlight tonight? Say that. No, tomorrow night. Uh, Technically, tomorrow night early. 
like eleven Whatever. fifty nine kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, so, bro, it makes it made uh, five billion in twenty eighteen, about four billion in twenty nineteen. In twenty twenty, it it dropped again down to two. So it's sort of been on a decline. Um, hmm. Yeah. I mean, it made a lot in 2020 to 2021. What about Warzone? Man, why'd they have to change the map? I was, yeah, I, don't know. I was, I was, I was effing with that so good, dude, for yeah. like years. And then they just changed. I was like, oh, I can't wait till they change for dance. And then they changed it. And you're, it's like totally not. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Caldera. Yeah. A lot of people don't love it. I, you know, the new stuff with Fortnite is the no build mode and people are hyped on it. It's so wild to me they took out a big feature of it and people are really liking it but it looks fun i i kind of want to get back on uh fortnite a little bit and try it out without the building if there's no building i'm a little bit more inclined to play that's what i'm saying like because i can't build like i don't know how about that so yeah i don't want to do that i mean like, what why am, I, why am i building yeah so i might check it out hmm. hey guys been seeing some rumors about a new deadpool comic series with more of a ryan reynolds feel to it i believe the art is done by frank miller and it's written by mike yeah, not reading that. Uh, almost got me. Damn, yeah, getting good at these. Yeah, not these. bad. Yeah, I don't think Frank does much art anymore. I don't know if he would do a full book. So I'm late. Starting from the. Oh, sorry. That's all good. Uh, currently painting my first custom, uh, 187th Legion all day. Just showing cool. some love. After Luke trained Ahsoka, she had to wipe his. <laughs> Yo, my man. Oh, Why do people think good. everyone doesn't know that Anakin is Darth Vader and Revenge of the Sith at timestamp 13740 Yoda and Obi-Wan see the hollow recording of Palpatine telling Anakin, calling Anakin Lord Vader? True. Yeah, I mean, they know. True. But civilians, regular people don't. Yet. Right. Yeah. So but maybe after 10 years know. now, they know who Vader is, but they don't know he's Anakin. Right. Yeah. Like Tarkin has his suspicions. Thrawn mm -hmm, pretty mm -hmm. much knows, you know. Thrawn knows, yeah. Everything Arrowverse says, hey, Theory, hope everything's well. Since Lego Star is released tomorrow, I remade the poster in live action. Do you mind checking it out? Uh, Arrowverse CW on Twitter. That's, that's a tough one, dude. I don't Probably know. won't check it out, man. No, I don't yeah. go on the tweets. Yeah. Yo, I got to pee and uh, fill up my coffee. BRB, bro. Okay, bro. But uh, I'm sure it looks cool. Thoughts on a storyline going over young Padme? What do you mean, like her life? We'll just read the uh, the Queen's Shadow book. Those th that series, it's pretty cool because it goes into detail on like how her handmaidens were actually deadly assassins. <laughs> they were pretty cool. They're pretty badass. Anakin is my favorite character. I love your videos. Keep making content. Thanks, Bo. I will as long as you guys keep watching. Gents, keep up the great content. When do you think we will get some Darth Bane content? Oh, dude, I hope. So here's the thing. I want them to make a Bane trilogy in a live action movie or show. And also want them to make the Plagueis book in live action. Or at least animate it, you know? Give us give us that story. It's just such a good story, man. And it really helps you understand everything that Palpatine went through as a young boy. I hope they never retell that story <clears throat> in a canon way. I hope they just make that book canon. Gents. Oh, right. Forget that. Oh, uh, outside of the small Hulk run clip from the Clone Wars. Right. Five bucks just play Mass Effect Legendary Theory. Thanks, Garrett. You're going to need more than that. <laughs> theory, I've had the opportunity to play the new Lego Star Wars game early, and I can honestly say it's the best Star Wars game ever. It's a lot. It's a love letter to us. Really? Well, that makes me hopeful. There's an hour and 39 minutes left until it's out. I have the screen up. I have the PlayStation menu music just playing my headphones right now. So. Yo, Steve. Hey, guys. I'm literally liking... I'm really liking what I'm hearing about the Acolyte show. Fresh faces and a chance to start a new saga. Expect we might get more info from Celebration. What are your guys' thoughts? Yeah, you know, so, um, Acolyte was something I was really excited for. Something I was definitely hyping up on the channel just for my pure excitement for the show to come out and focus on a dark side character. Until I started hearing some rumors that it wasn't really going to focus all that much on some dark side Sith. It's just so I don't know. I don't really know what to believe. But, you know, with these rumors, a lot of them are just bullshit. A lot of them are wrong. 
some of them are true so it's kind of like you never know what to really believe so it's fun to just talk about them and keep an open mind but um i'm looking forward to the show i hope it's going to be really good it sucks that you won't be at celebration this year theory it was an honor to meet you in chicago oh dude thanks man it was great meeting you guys too but also this year is going to is going celebrate so much more mando clone war 7 kenobi etc and besides galaxy's edge of course Heck clone yeah. war 7 what do you mean yeah what are you talking about with that Whew. every time i see a notification that you posted a video i get so excited you're my absolute favorite i love you star wars theory i love you too yorkie porky thank you man yeah that's a cool uh profile picture too Where's you watch from? my hero my hero academia oh, oh no i know that i know that oh that's good Teal's girlfriend says, what Shadow of the Empire movie or series work? I mean, episode nine is kind of like Shadow sure. of the Empire, to be honest, but why not? I'll be down. Baby Lee Blue Boy. Third sister doesn't look more evil in the face than the other Inquisitors. I'm excited for her, though. Yeah, it's probably just a choice they made. I, I would love for her to look more sinister. She does need to look but... a little more badass. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Theory, imagine Crease. Is the one to kill Silver or Crease dies protecting Johnny? Yeah, all that stuff's on the table and it's super fun. So I'm Dion. I'm Dion, bro. I'm Dion, Spaceman Films. I'm Dion. Imagine Crease is the one to kill. Yeah, I don't think that would happen though. Hey, Josh, Theory, love the streams. Do you guys plan to post more stuff on Movie Bros channel together? Yes, yes, hundred yeah, percent. I just I, yeah. there's it's just wild right now, dude. The move was crazy. Once I get a little more settled, we will definitely do more stuff. We were close to doing stuff on the Adam project. There's a couple things that we've been close on, but it's just tough to find uh, time in the scheduling. So, but I mean, I'm still uploading here and there. Yeah, I I mean, I want to and I can. I prefer to do them like with you. You know what I mean? But. Yeah, uh, me too. I can I can do uh you know if I'll tell you if we don't do one in the next couple weeks I'll drop I'll drop some solo stuff on there for sure. Okay, cool. Because I'm always watching movies, you know. Yeah, yeah. That's why I love doing like the, the quick little candid like yeah. yo. It's like I love those. They're quick and mm -hmm. it, you know gets it out there. And some people really love that kind of uh, review too. True. Um, hey theory, can you write a fanfic about what if instead of joining Obi Wan in A New Hope, Luke instead decides to? <laughs> Dang, dude. Uh, Mary Jane Lambert says, Josh, Kenobi wasn't delayed because of Miss Marvel overlapping with the finale. Miss Marvel premieres June 8th, which had been episode three premiere. Yeah, that's true, Mary, um, which I was totally wrong about. And Jensen was right. All right, Jensen, you want me to say it? <laughs> Love the content, guys. Blinker stream for 420. Are we going to be, is, is 420 is a that, Monday? I don't know. Let's see. No, it's a Wednesday. It's a Wednesday? Oh, okay. A wednesday yeah oh it's a wednesday okay so i usually don't even stream i'll stream at night with my peeps but i don't do public streams on wednesday so that's kind of weird i always have fun with those 420 streams i put like a bunch of like smoke uh like in the tower and so like it's everybody yeah i have fun with that stuff but... <laughs> yeah. stranger things in two episodes can only release on the same day is gonna be crazy yeah it's gonna be a wild weekend a lot of streaming yeah are you gonna I'm be covering like stranger things man nah i mean i'll watch it for sure and i'll talk about it like on a stream casually but i'm not gonna make like videos about it wait um, what top gun 2 comes out top gun maverick also comes out the same day wait when what dude wasn't that like delayed a million times it's been delayed quite a bit yeah when does that come out i'm gonna look it up my crazy theory says darth pug the prophecy was actually a sith prophecy altered by the sith so the jedi would adopt it a knowing the Jedi would be better able to find the one due to having more numbers looking. What? <laughs> I didn't understand uh, that. Yeah, it does come out that same day, bro. Top Gun really? comes out that same day, yeah. In theaters? Yep. Wow. Same day as Kenobi. Mm-hmm. Wow. What yeah, the hell? Wow. Yeah, it's gonna be nuts. Bro, I miss the days of Infinity War and Endgame. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <sighs> Yeah, for sure. Like, are we ever going to get that again? Yes, yes. Secret Wars will be just as big. S Secret Wars will probably be bigger, to be honest with you. But wow. uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like but it's going to take ten years. No, but they'll probably they'll probably start teasing it out in like 2024, 2025, and then it'll be the next thing, and it's gonna it's gonna be nuts. But will um, it have 
like our favorite characters in there? Or? Yeah. So I think uh, Robert Denny Jr. will likely return uh, for Secret Wars. So at that point, I think what Secret Wars will do is take all the characters that they're establishing now and all the characters that we love from the OG stuff and put them all together on Battle World. And you'll see them all fighting against either like Kang or in the comics, it's like Dr. Doom uh, with God powers. And it's just like crazy, dude. I just so. want to see uh, Hugh Jackman return as Wolverine again. I would love that. I don't know. There's a lot of like rumors about he's him. Done. I Yeah, I don't I don't know if he's coming back. You know what I mean? If he does, it, it would be Secret Wars, though. That would be the project that he'd do it because I don't think he's in Multiverse of Madness. So. Damn. Mm -hmm. I wish he was. Oh, yeah. I mean, I would love to see all those dudes. It's my favorite Marvel Working character. together. Hell yeah, dude. Logan, amazing, dude. Yeah. Who's your favorite Marvel character? So my favorite Marvel character ever is mm -hmm. a weird kind of character. It's uh, Kane Scarlet Spider. So he's a clone of Peter. And uh, in the 90s, he was like a villain. He got all crazy. And he ends up getting sort of rehabilitated and becoming like more actually like a hero. He has this crazy story where he, I oh mean, it's like so sweaty and nerdy, but like he gets this thing called the other, which is like a spider totem power um, that Peter rejects. And dude, one of my favorite runs ever is after spider Island, he goes to Houston and he's going to just jump the border. He doesn't want to be a hero at all. Like Kane is not a, good dude generally he's got a heart but he's not like peter and so he goes to uh jump the border and he busts up with this drug deal and he's just gonna steal all this money go into mexico never be heard from again and he runs into like some human trafficking and he's like all right well i'll stop this human trafficking and then i'm gonna jump the border and i'm gone forever and he sort of keeps getting pulled back into being a hero hmm. um yeah i really really liked it the tagline of the book was all of the power and none of the responsibility cool. and like dude it was sweet he would like sh he would use guns he would use katanas like he was dope um so he's, so like he's one early, of my... uh wolverine kind of well he's like what's later in comics but yeah he's like an early hmm. wolverine kind of trope he, he happens like much later in the stories but um yeah i like that character a lot i like i've always liked cable a lot uh so it's like old cable comics x-men comics yeah you know? but i say when when i answer like for normies i always just say spider-man because it's just easier to say spider-man than spider-man's clone right you know what I mean? okay that's cool yeah. <sighs> yo gregory what's up Maybe when ray said be with me while floating she was on exegol facing the emperor calling out to jedi like luke meditating and was on exegol mm, yeah something like that could could happen I'm really interested to check out that book, man. Okay, when with Ray Luke and said, "Be with me while floating," she was on Exegol facing the Emperor, calling out to Jedi like Luke meditating. No, I don't think so. I think she was just trying to get some answers from the Jedi Force ghosts, but they were like, "Nah, you ain't ready." Yeah, could be. Could be. Question for you both. What's a must-read Star Wars book? I've yet to delve into Star Wars literature, really, too. Much love uh, from my bro, Bennett, and I. Um, It depends what you feel like. You know, if you want to do something like uh, with, with Palpatine, you know, of course, Plagueis. If you want to do something about maybe not a main character, but still has to do with the Empire, go with Tarkin and get some mm. Vader in there, too. If you want to go with Thrawn, any of the Thrawn books. If you want to go um, Dooku, Dooku Jedi Lost. You know, Josh, what are, what are some of your uh, thoughts? Yeah, I would say uh, the Plagueis novel is amazing. So that's like a pretty good one to start with, I would say. I always go to Lost Stars just because it goes through all the different events that you know from the movies, but like with a different perspective on them. And I think it's really cool. Mm. Um, the Air of the Empire series is fantastic. That's really, really good stuff. So... Yeah, any of those are go-to ones. I also really like Lords of the Sith. I think it's pretty fire. Lord of the Flies. <laughs> it's a good book. Hey, boys. Hopped in a little late, but glad to be here for another wonderful night of nerd theory. When's the episode coming after y'all light up? Skywalker huh. Saga is amazing so far. Just finished Phantom. Oh, cool. Nice, glad, glad you're already on it, man. Yeah, that's cool. That's fun. Um, 
chat. Yeah, maybe you guys will be here in about an hour and a half, and then yeah, yeah, yeah. we can start it. And you guys can tell me where we should start. Like which yeah, yeah, episode. yeah, yeah. Weird. I already got the Skywalker Saga in the mail. Oh, good, dude. That yeah. Some people. There must be something going on because it seems like a lot of people are already playing it. Oh well, um, yeah, I think a lot of like influencers and stuff watch uh, the show. Yeah. Too, and okay. So I think right. it's maybe some of the people commenting, yeah. like Twitch streamers, as you said. Yeah. Uh, Florida what, Highway Patrol. This is funny. It's, this guy's going after Jay. It says, what would happen if Padme was just as fast, strong, and skilled as Super Perfect Cell from Dragon Ball? Whoa. Super Perfect Cell. Padme. Damn. What the hell? I mean, can you imagine those two together? That's a power couple for sure. Yeah. I mean, she would just regenerate. <laughs> yeah, dude. What the hell? Should be, that'd be dangerous. That's dangerous, bro. Yeah, I don't know about that. That'd be crazy. The Emperor would like try to fry her into little pieces, but then she would just... Yeah. Uh, New Hope was my favorite. First was my first movie ever. My uncle introduced me to it. At the ripe age of five, that movie changed my life. And now, fifteen years later, I get to see Obi Wan once again with my uncle, May twenty seven. Oh, that's so nice, man. Yeah, that's, cool. that's, that's great, great. Cole. That's beautiful. Yep, I love it, dude. It's feel good. Yeah, feel good for sure. That's beautiful. Thanks, uh, thanks, Chanel. Appreciate that. Yeah. Maybe we'll see how and why Obi Wan altered Anakin's slash Luke's lightsaber between three and Episode four. Maybe. Yeah, I'd like to see how he did that. And why he did that? Yeah, yeah. I want to see Daniel go full rage on Silver, similar to No Way Home's final battle with Peter and Norman. Maybe Silver hurts Amanda or burns down Miyagi, though. That leads him to do that. Yeah, I want to see Daniel go a little bit psycho. Yeah, that would be cool. Not not be so uh, passive all the time. Mm -hmm. you know? yep. I feel like Daniel was cooler in uh, The Karate Kid, but then now in Cobra Kai, he's just kind of like he's a bit of a stick up his ass, you know? He is, but I think that's creates some of the fun the the dynamic between yeah, him and Johnny. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then that Johnny uh, Twitter account that's always clowning on him and saying stuff like about that it was like Russo eats uh, veggie burgers and shit like that. Like just little clips oh. that are funny. Yeah. In the show or? No, it's just a Twitter account. Oh, that's funny. Johnny Lawrence. And it just clowns on Russo. That's all, funny. All there. Yeah, that's, that's funny. funny. Mm. Flashbacks in episode three. Absolutely. Give me him. Give me him Flash, all, man. Flashback this. Let's get it. Dude, Kyle, first of all, if this is the same Kyle from my channel, you won the $200 GameStop gift card, dude. You got to hit me up so I can give it to you. If you are indeed a Nerdvenger Kyle. And if not, no, oh, never mind. <laughs> Thanks for the five bucks. Yeah. Just remember the stream an hour and a half too late. Guess I'll hit rewatch later. How are y'all in Elden Ring? I finally got a session in recently. Uh, when I was moving, I couldn't do a ton of it, but... Uh, yeah, the game's so hard as as uh, crap. I tell you, I just was spending the last session. This is so Elden Ring. I spent hours trying to beat this one boss. I beat him, and then another boss pops up right after him. I was yeah. like, are you serious? So is that... Um, I fought him too. God, who was that? Uh, it's like it was, some spirit. Uh, it's like some, they look like spirit dudes. And it's like the samurai guy. You fight the samurai guy, and then you got to get in there and fight the godskin twins. Yeah, I remember they, there, was, there was a guy I fought, and then it like opened up another door to the next one. Oh, no, 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 like, no. But that, no, it, I, no the, yeah. there, was a, there was a god I fought, and then he, he, you beat him, and then he, yeah, no. So that was the snake. The snake mm. dude. Oh, my God. I hated that guy. So difficult. Bro, I would this this boss was I was freaking out doing the usual rage and all that, and I finally got him and I was like, that's right, bitch. And I was like feeling all good. And this other dude pops up. I was like, no, no, mm -hmm. it can't be. Thanks for the encouragement. Also, I really don't think the Vader Obi leak is a real fight in the show. I think it's a dream for Obi fearing that Vader comes to Tatooine, kicks his ass, and takes Luke. It could be, but also, you know. We got to take it easy with the flashbacks and the dreams. They're going to be only be so much. Yep. And before, before all, like there were, there was no such thing as a flashback, and now it's like you know we're it's like a normal thing. So I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, I agree. It's a tricky one. You don't want to do too much. They're cool, but you know, no. uh, got to be careful. Yo, Peter B. Parker finally watched Game of Thrones finale. <laughs> <laughs> Jon Snow forever. I right. Agree. We were telling you, bro. We were telling yeah. you last week. Yeah. Yeah, oh man, I could go in on that. You Yo, that this I'm, dude's I'm go profile. Pee. Oh, hell yeah. This dude's profile picture, if you peek at it real quick, that's God Emperor Doom from Secret Wars. Oh, sick. He's all uh, wetted out. 
Yeah, yeah. Uh, the pizza line with a twenty dollar holla says part one. Anakin Skywalker reached out his hand. Luke took it, and everything went white. He awakens on the seeing stone of Tython. The thin, brisk air lingers inertly in the corridor of events he is not certain took place. Is that really the rest of that line, bro? Better not be. Better not be. I want something more than that, man. I want something more. And I know I shouldn't. But I do. Yo, I wonder. Let's try something. I don't know if Theory has his headset on, so I might not be able to do this. But I'm going to try to act like I'm frozen uh, when he comes back. And y'all should be like, frozen, lag, or something, like when he comes back. And I'll try. I'll try to just do like one of these when he comes back. Let's see. See if it works. I'm going to have to wait until he comes back, Aaron. Wouldn't that be good? That'd be a good one, huh? <laughs> what kind of face should I have? Do a smile. Something like that. I can see you moving, dude. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Yo! We tried, guys. We tried. Shit! Uh, I've been doing this too long, bro. <laughs> he was on it. Vader and Kenobi leaked scene is 100% a dream. Sand is Vader's kryptonite. If it gets into his necrotic flesh, it's game over for the young one slayer. Hmm. Maybe. That would be wild. It was the hand? Yeah, you're probably right. You're probably right. I shouldn't have had the hand up there. <laughs> you should do a mass effect playthrough me is one of the best sci-fi i always wanted to and i never had an xbox until i was a teenager like until i was like 16 which then it was a 360 and then i just didn't play it i don't know what happened don't it's great why. it's great dude. i've been thinking about revisiting it to be honest I'd, yeah i'd like to play it to be honest yeah Evening gents, Evening gents, something I'd love to see, but will never would be live action show with uh, Jaster Mareel would be amazing. Yeah, never say never, but uh, doesn't seem like a tie up on their list, but that'd be fun. Probably not. Yeah. Yeah. Nick Theory, trust me, the best way to learn guitar is learn bar chords and play Green Day and Blink songs and you'll move forward from there. So right now I'm just learning chords. So I just learned the C chord, but like my my issue is that the finger thing, right? Like I got to really like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. get my fingers mm -hmm. this way. Yep. Yeah, you're but I'm getting better. Really I'm getting better. Around. And then just you know just switching between the chords. That's all. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, yeah. Power chords are pretty uh, mm -hmm. kind of easy to figure out though. Ramadan Mubarak to all those who observe. Oh, right on Mustafa. Yeah, man. It's yeah, uh, to all those doing that. Yeah. Yeah. I used to work with a lot of uh, Moroccans that would <clears throat> do that. And uh, yeah, it was wild, man. They'd work like the full ass shifts without eating or anything. And then like when it, the sun went down, they could, they could eat or whatever. So yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> it's a big commitment. Mm hmm. Hey, boys, love the streams. We all have to tune in for this game tonight. But what do you think of the leaks of the game? Uh, I haven't seen any of them. I haven't seen any of them. <laughs> <No. laughs> I don't know what the hell is going on. Yeah, I don't know about all that. If, if you, you change, change your time, time and location. Oh, know. bro, that's how they're doing it. They're changing their time and location of oh, South Korea. Oh, oh. But you can't do that in, oh, I guess. Yeah, I guess. Hmm. Oh, well, only another hour, 19 minutes. So wait a minute. If I change, is there any time zone where Kenobi's Kenobi already out? Right, right. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think they sync it to like the Californian time. Hmm. Joshua says, hi, guys. I was recently forced to leave my home in Ukraine from shellings. I was very scared. I was listening to your Star Wars video on a bus leaving my home. Wanted to thank you for bringing happiness to me for those few minutes. Damn, hey, Joshua. We love you, man. Be safe, okay? <clears throat> yeah, that's we crazy. You and, uh, crazy. Thanks for listening to our show, man. We hope yeah. you and your family stay safe. 100%. Who got the biggest bench press in Star Wars? Named Star Wars characters? Oh, 
probably Yoda. Hmm. What about like Jabba or something? No, like dude. Yoda just uses the Force. Yeah, but... You mean without the Force? Yeah. No, you got to use your abilities. Mm. Mm. I, don't know. I feel like... He's got yeah, four De arms. Dexter Jester, for sure. The sand Pokemon thing that Boba killed. You know? <laughs> the Rancor? Yeah, Rancor. Rancor beats. What's your favorite Jack. ship from each trilogy? Mm. Probably the N1. Hmm. And then probably the slave one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So ones, like ships with ones. Yeah. I like uh, the TIE fighter that uh, Kylo had. It was kind of cool. Mm. So maybe that one, the silver ship that uh, Maul used. Scimitar? Yeah. Yeah, that ship was very dope. cool. Um, and then, I mean, I don't know. It's hard to go against the X-Wing. Oh, you know what? I like the B-Wing. I like the B-Wing in uh, Return of the Jedi. B-Wings are dope. B for beta. Uh... Part two, be mused. He meditated in the force to gather fragmented thoughts of what he believed he had experienced on Exile. And suddenly, his meditation is interrupted. Why do I feel like this is headed towards Luke Soka joke? Mm -hmm. Probably. Thanks, Pizza. Do you think Cal and Ahsoka will meet in Kenobi show? And would Ahsoka take the... No, she's a she's a one Jedi kind of gal. Oh, God. After Kenobi is over, which show are you guys looking forward to the most? Probably Andor. Andor or Ahsoka. I think Ahsoka's going to be fired, dude. I think Ahsoka. <laughs> Nice. I saw you post that on the Insta. No, this is this is a uh, this is from. Oh, it's uh, a screen cap from the video you showed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Everyone, in general, I bet there's an alternate universe when Lord Josh hates the sequels as much as Master Theory does, and one where Master Theory would love to see Master Luke execute Order sixteen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, alternate universes, man. Crazy. Please make a happy early B day to my son Nolan. He turns six tomorrow. Hey, happy birthday, Nolan. Happy birthday, Nolan. Can we should we start a song? Happy birthday, birthday Nolan. Happy birthday, birthday Nolan. Nolan. We don't want to get copyrighted. copyrighted but we'll happy do birthday, it Nolan. for you. you know. yeah. May the force be with you, Nolan. Yeah, man, for real. We'll watch your career with great interest. For real. Ultra Music Festival, Tiesto. Oh, dude, Tiesto? What? That's sick. I, bet it was I don't fun. know who that is. Is that like a electronic? You don't know who Tiesto is? You don't know who DJ Tiesto is? No. In Search of Sunrise albums? No. You don't know who Tiesto is? Nope. Should Are you serious? Up? Are you I'm joshing serious. me right now? No. Wow. That's dumb. Wow. What? Dang. DJ Tiesto, huh? What? Wow. Crazy. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Never heard. Fair enough, man. Listen to a little right now. Uh, listen to "In Search of Sunrise." I think that was those were his best albums. <clears throat> hmm. Definitely interesting looking. I'll tell you Dude, that. your freaking two thousand two thousand ten was like uh, 2000, 2004, 15, I think. Two, yeah, was like peak Tiesto. Hmm. Peak. Yeah, maybe oh four, oh four to. 2014 peak. Yeah, I have to check yeah. it out. Yeah, Seems, cool. Great. Seems cool. Depends if you like that kind of music. Yep. Me legendary more than half off. You love it, Star Wars Theory. Me Mass legendary. Effect. Oh, Mass, Mass, Effect. Mass Effect. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure I would. I've just been busy playing Elden Ring, and now I'm going to play Lego Star Wars probably for Heck, the next yeah. 50 years. By the way, he loves Star Wars and Spider Man, so he has me making a Boba Miles Morales costume. That's awesome. Is that a mashup? Because that's kind of fun. That'd be crazy. Yeah. Spider-Man is Boba. Yeah. Have you watched Kenobi by HFP on YouTube? I have not. Have not. Maybe I'll check it out. Mama Defoe. <laughs> Hashtag never forget. Palpy didn't originally have a granddaughter with love. C Kathleen Kennedy. Thanks, oh, Kathleen. Okay. Yeah, right on. Thanks, if you Kathleen. could change one aspect of the original trilogy, what would it be? Nothing. 
I don't want to change anything. Love it as it is. Yeah, it's all pretty, pretty on point. Makes me feel good. Logi, Log, Logi One Kenobi says, "What's up, nerds? Glad to join and be part of the fam. What is your guys' emotions towards the old Republic era, and do you think they would ever do a live action in this era? I feel there is mixed emoticons. Mm. I mean, I love the old Republic era, man. I, I, I want think they would do a live action for sure. Absolutely, mm -hmm. yeah." I think, so. I think so. I think so. Yeah, 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 yeah. Have you guys seen the video where the guy tries to hit Vader in Fallen Order? If not, check it out. It's pretty interesting. Oh, where he like keeps dying. Hmm. I think. Yeah, I mean, I don't think that's yeah. gonna work. Oh, here you go. Oh, oh. here we go. Yeah, oh, part no. three. Someone has sensed his play through the force, turning his head exactly sixty-nine degrees on the left. He is amenably greeted by the tender embrace of Ahsoka's shame cave the end well done well done pizza lion well done thank you for keeping a pg thank you yeah <laughs> hey theory love your content just curious why don't you play mass effect <laughs> damn dog what I will. is the mass effect people in here like what's going yeah, on here. like why are you not playing our game sheesh mass effect legendary holy moly what this is wild bro like bro, are they all in here hmm I don't think it's people thinking Kenobi doesn't know for reasons already mentioned. I just don't think Kenobi knew he survived, at least not in the beginning. Fair. That's fair. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Well, in the book, he didn't know he survived until he like heard people talking about Vader. And then, uh, or he like saw his hologram and, right. yeah. and heard, you know, the name Vader. So I don't know. At this point, it's 10 years later. So I imagine he knows Vader's alive. Yeah. Kyber and Hilt would have you both if you could choose. Wait, what? What? Oh, what Kyber and Hilt? Oh, uh, Green and yeah, Anakin's probably Hilt or Luke's. I would say yellow or red and Dooku's handles. I like Dooku's. Sushi off Darth Talon. Duh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 100%. Not a bad choice. That would be nice. Not a bad choice. Oh, what about Garza Whip? Whip it up, I say. Uh, could Anakin have overthrown the Emperor if he didn't need the suit? I think yep. so, yeah. 100%. Yep. 100 million percent. Yep. Yes, my dudes. And I uh, saw somebody asking in chat, uh, yes, this is the same Chick-fil-A cup from this morning, so yeah. Josh, how are Who you going to watch? Moon Knight and get tickets for Multiverse of Madness magic bro don't worry about it hey theory i'm fat i'm naked and i'm here to explain something people <laughs> have been playing skywalker saga early because a bunch of retailers have accidentally given out copies early oh nice right dang on. that's crazy good for them. right on good for them right on jimmy are if you are on xbox can you change your region to new zealand and play early that's what i do feel like one of three people that like morbius hey that's cool i mean some people like it but uh yeah yeah i hope to see vader in the kenobi series go god mode against some rebels or aj i want to see him kill inquisitors that would be cool i yeah. mess them up yeah like, i want to see him go crazy adam dodson says lego star wars is already out in uk it's the biggest star wars galaxy we've ever gotten in a game it's amazing can't wait to play mm. thanks boba yeah. no disintegrations if uh -huh. padme was everything perfect sell was she would still die because she was so sad. Duh. Damn, that's true. Why she died on the inside. True, yeah. I love when Josh reads messages when Theory leaves. Best thing ever. <laughs> Maybe we'll just leave. Maybe we'll just, <laughs> what? Maybe we'll no, just, just leave again. Maybe no, we'll just... no, no, you don't say that. You don't say that, Brandon Martin. We'll just go. No, but it was funny. We were trying to get you on that, bro. But uh, you were too clever. Don't make me kill you. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. I'm not sure how I got here. It has to do with Jar Jar Abrams, I think. Yo, so have you heard about this? The post credit scene for Morbius? No. Dude, Vulture literally comes in to the Sony universe and literally says to Morbius, I don't know how I got here. I feel like it has something to do with Spider-Man, I guess. We should team up. What? Like, that's like kind of what he says. Michael like, Keaton? For real. Michael Keaton's Vulture, yeah. It makes no sense it's like 
Sony gonna Sony, bro. Mm. Sony gonna Sony. Ghost Anakin appear, but they made the original Spider Man. So I mean, this, they, they did. They don't they make did. shit. Yeah. They're obviously great, but I mean, what the hell? I don't know what they were thinking with this one, man. I still have yet to watch it. Maybe I'll watch it and be like, "This is amazing." <laughs> Dude, that would be great, dude. Maybe we should do a movie bros on it. It's just like, Morbius yeah. is cinema. Yo, one other really funny Morbius thing. So there were so many memes about it because everybody's clowning on it, right? And so somebody made a meme of uh, Martin Scorsese standing in front of a Morbius mm-hmm. poster. And he's like, I was wrong. Comic book movies are the best. And, <laughs> and yo, Tyrese dead ass shared it on his Instagram thinking it was real, bro. Yeah, he dead ass thought it oh, was no. real, bro. Yeah, man. Oh no. Yep. Talk about it taking an L. I know, bro. <laughs> I was like, you got to be kidding me. But oh no. Yep. Ghost Anakin appears on X School. I'm not sure how I got here. It has to do with Charger. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, bro. <sighs> yeah. It's like either I can keep just being like this is ridiculous until the end of time, or I can just be like, all right, yeah, and accept yeah. this is now the fan fiction version that Disney mm-hmm. wants to create and go with it and be like, all right, let's appreciate it for what it is. Yeah, I don't know. What would you guys like? Do you want me to keep keep uh, hating and be like, this can't happen? I mean, I feel like it's. I don't know. I'm just kind of tired of doing that now at this point. I kind of just want to take it for what it is. It's uh, it's not my Star Wars, but it is at the end of the day the only Star Wars that we get. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a it's a weird one, man. I I think uh, oh, there's gosh. hope. There's hope for stuff around it and past it, maybe you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somehow Palpatine returns. So. Thanks, Levi. Lego Star Wars tonight. Sup, dudes? Do you think there could be more than one Anakin's lightsaber around? Like, do you think he made spares when he made his last one as a Jedi? He since he's known for using them. I don't really think they make spares, do they? No. No, there's just one. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about all that. Kroger needs to go to Miyagi Do. Yeah, he does. Yeah. Oh man, that'd be great. Although he's gonna get the Iron Man suit, so who cares, right? He does. I was four years old in 1999, and my dad took me to the movies for the first time in my life to see The Phantom Menace. From that moment on, Star Wars has been everything to me. What's both of your favorite Star Wars memories? You want to you wanna go? Oh, jeez. My whole life was Star Wars. Yeah. I would say my first memory of Star Wars was when all of my family was sitting around the TV watching. This was like uncles and stuff, too. It was like during the holidays. And they're all watching Return of the Jedi on the screen. And I was like, why are all the adults watching this movie? What's going on here? And then I got like immediately hooked. But one of my favorite Star Wars moments ever was at the 40th anniversary celebration panel at Celebration in Orlando. when Car- So Carrie had just passed. And uh, George was there. Everybody was shocked that George was there for the panel. And the panel was so cool. And then at the end, uh, Carrie's daughter comes out and gives this really like beautiful speech. And then the curtain pulls back to the right of the stage and John Williams is there. And then he goes <laughs> on to not just do uh, conducting of Leia's theme, but he went he just went bro and it was beautiful and he played star wars music uh for probably like 20 minutes and there's just people wow. crying in the crowd and stuff it was beautiful so that's probably my favorite one wow yeah um there were many moments for me i mean just you know every night uh me and my dad you know like we, we would have a ritual to make the tea uh we, you know have get the goodies ready and we would just be like oh like which we would watch a new hope like I just a lot and uh it was it was nice and you know and then uh, i grew up and then i would start um going on star wars forums and like meeting friends and i met my best friend on there who lives you know the province over and um star wars has done so much for my life it's incredible um and another moment definitely episode one with the pod race scene which really ignited my love for cars and engines <clears throat> in general and just like fast things spaceships mm. it was, mm. it was it's beautiful yeah very and lucky that game was fun too that yep. pod racing game Oof, yep. i love that game yeah 
Someone needs to come close to guessing before I reveal. Oh, I see. Dude, I have no idea. Are you writing a freaking novel, bro? Like, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I don't know what it is. I don't know. Maybe he's raising money. Maybe. What if Cobra Kai desecrates Mr. Miyagi's grave or even steals his body? <laughs> that's, dude, that's, 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 that, I, that is so That'd messed up. That'd that's it, not dude. even, yeah, that's not, like, you can't even do that, bro. That's just what, like, that's horrible. Yeah, that's, that'd be pretty messed I up. I couldn't dude. even imagine that. I'd be like, what, what is happening right now? No you know what's way. crazy? That reminds me of, um, so I've been rewatching uh, Jessica Jones on Netflix, and that villain, the Purple Man, uh, David Tennant, in that show, it does literally some of the most sadistic shit I've ever seen a villain do. Dude, it's crazy. It's really well written, but some of it's like, whoa, like, really, whoa, yeah. So, like, an example in the first, like, the first little thing that happens is he like. Basically, he has this power where he tells people to do something and they just do it. They have to like listen to him. Mm -hmm. And so he does this whole thing where Jessica is like saving this girl and she thinks that she's saved this girl. And then as the girl gets into the elevator with her parents, the girl smiles at Jessica, gets out a gun and shoots her own parents. What the hell? Bro, it is crazy. And there's just so much stuff like that. That's like super brutal. It's like, whoa, like. You want to like one of the most brutal villains I've ever seen in a show. It was crazy. I know Jedi Fallen Order 2 is confirmed, but if you had to pick, would you rather have Fallen Order 2 or Battlefront 3? Personally, I'd go Battlefront 3. Um, that's a tough one because Battlefront 3 is all gameplay, like all verses. Uh, they're all, all gameplay. But Fallen Order 2 is like a story that you can get. Uh, Fallen mm -hmm. Order 2. <coughs> yeah, I can't wait for Fallen Order 2, man. Yeah, Fallen I think it's going to be much better than the first one. And the first one was good. But I think it's going to be much better. So imagine Fallen Order, but like expanded story, tighter controls, all that kind of stuff. I'm down. I just had such a really amazing... I think that was one of my favorite times on the channel. On yeah. YouTube in general was those Fallen Order streams with the community. That was, I yeah. think, one of my most fun times ever. Makes it sense. was just so great. Like I was just like that night that I ordered pizza and we were all like going through the same, like it was just like eight, nine hour stream. It was good times. Oh, great yeah, times. Man. Can't wait to do that again. It'll happen yeah. again. It's just going to be one. Yeah, uh, what do you think of the Taika Star Wars movie? Will be uh, hopefully Old Republic. Yeah, that'd be cool. But we, not, we not really entirely know. sure. Yeah, not yeah. sure. New Sabayoth in Ahsoka. So she has someone to duel. I think yeah. she'll have someone to deal duel. Yeah. 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 Luke. yeah. <laughs> Indeed. In her shame cave. God damn it. The new Sabine actor is kind of bad, not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. I think you're right. Cusca Reeves? No. No, who? no, no. The actress that plays Sabine, I forget her who is, name. Who is her name? Who is her name? <laughs> who, who is her name? <laughs> Just wanted to say appreciate all for everything you do. Stoked for Kenobi watch parties and breakdowns. Dude, I cannot wait, Jake. And that's a cool cat. Is that a not a dog? <laughs> <laughs> that was a cool cat, except that it's a dog. <laughs> <laughs> Natasha Liu <laughs> Gordizo. Yeah, she's bad. She's bad for sure. <laughs> for a minute, it looked like a goat. <laughs> Oh, uh, nice to be sure, but a welcome one. Yeah. You know, somebody says ugliest cat ever. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, nice oh, golly, that's awesome, Mama da Foo. Mama da Foo. Uh, I didn't send the first time, lol. Love you both. Don't worry, I still got you. But even if Cal isn't in any of the shows, I'm sure there will be an Easter egg of his master. <laughs> I, I'm just thinking, like, if that was, like, someone's baby. And I'm like, nice dog. And I'm like, oh, that's a child. <laughs> oh, that's, shit, it's a baby. Uh, oh, horrible, man. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. yeah that Good thing be. it wasn't. Yeah. Yeah, it could be bad. Um, yeah, Mama the Foo. I don't know why I love that name so much. Say, say it, Josh. 
Mama Dafu. <laughs> Mama Dafu. Right, all right. Uh, He's pretty good. I'm sure there will be an Easter egg of his master. Yeah, probably. I mean, he was a cool Jedi master. I'd love to learn more about he him. He was really cool. Yeah, he was cool. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there, have been watching you daily. Dude, I've been doing that lately. Like, I was uh, near my friend a few days ago, and uh, he was like, come on, come on. And I th- and I'm like I'm like oh you, is there a, you have a dog here I didn't I didn't see the dog and then his like daughter walked out <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I felt yeah, really bad oh yeah yeah his wife and daughter walked out and I, I felt damn yeah, I felt bad yeah yeah I, I got the stink eye or something too no no he he chuckled no he got the stink eye from his wife bro no I got the stink eye from her oh. <laughs> <laughs> right on hey theory been watching you daily since 2016 just finishing med school and decided to start my own star wars channel right on dude wow uh by the way canon isn't misspelled it's actually my name name's canon cool keep going that is cool man star wars canon that's awesome man nice good for you man med school's hard too so good on you that's very hard yeah so it's crazy to think that some people have been watching the channel since like before they started med school. Yeah. <laughs> now they're done. I know. I know oh, right? yeah. Wow. Now they have a real job. Now they got a real gerb. A real gerb. Um, 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 Sending love. Hope all is well with you guys. Hey, we love you too, man. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, late night. Appreciate, Appreciate that. you. Didn't send first time. Love you both. Oh. Oh, you didn't have to send it. I already read your free one. So they were on a special mission during Order 66, huh? That's in the first game? Yeah, pretty much. Hmm. I don't remember that too much, to be honest. Pretty much. Hmm. Mm, mm, mm. Sir, they've gone up the ventilation shaft. <laughs> <laughs> nice, dude. Been a minute, boys. Hope you're both well. I hope you're well, X-Wing. Yeah, take care. Yeah, man. So... <laughs> does ahsoka get a hallway scene i i oh, doubt man. it i mean she'd do good in one for sure oh but jesus where are you going I doubt it. yeah are you being serious i mean are you, um, being, are you being sexual I, i'm not being sexual i think he might have been though you know Gary, you can have those types of streams with the fan base playing mass effect great lord good graphics choices and consequences you'd love it throw i would love it yeah I'll, I'll yeah. do it on the gaming channel. I don't know. Yeah, I'll maybe if, like, yeah, if you get like a slower time or you're not, maybe when you're done with this game or Elden Ring or something. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> done with Elden Ring. That's funny. I know, right? It's never so big. Thought Cal would show up in Kenobi show when then his story continues in Fallen Order 2. By the way, I love you guys. May the force be with you. We love you too, bro. Thanks, man. Yeah, that would be cool. Cal's cool. And they did just do his saber at Galaxy's Edge and all that too. So there's a lot of little signs. I think it could work. Could happen. Be fun. Yeah, it's also because people voted. What, really? For the saber? Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. It was a few years ago. We all had to vote. There were a few sabers and uh, Cal was one of them. And yeah. Well, the saber is awesome. So it makes (laughs) sense. Yeah, it's really rare, really unique. Yeah. yeah. From Trek Gaming, do you like Star Trek Theory? Do you like Star Trek? Yeah, I do. I've never been like super into it, but I've liked it uh, as a concept or whatever. Yeah, it was never like, oh my god, I gotta watch Star Trek. But it was, you know, something that my dad was really into, and like mm-hmm. it would be on TV, and I remember watching it with him. Yeah, when I was a kid. Yeah. Oh, so I'd I'd watch a lot of them. Nice. The Deep Space stuff? Nine. Yeah, I do it. I had a major crush on 709. Mm. Holy moly. I she's she a robot? Was so hot. Yeah. She's the android? Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She, she was a baddie for sure. Yeah. Dude, oh my God. Yeah. Anyways. Um, well, she's like ex Borg or whatever, right? I can't remember. Is that remember. what it was? I, I can't remember. Yeah, I think I was like 10. Yeah. Yeah, I would watch it occasionally. I was never super into it, but. No, it's fun. Mm hmm. It's relaxing. Yo, first super chat. Besides Kenobi, what Star Wars project are you guys most looking forward to? Probably Multiverse of Madness. Oh, a Star Wars project. Sorry. Um, um, Ahsoka. Yeah, probably Ahsoka. I've fallen Order 2. Star Wars Eclipse. Yeah, 100%. Oh, God. I hope Eclipse actually happens, man. You know? Yeah. Did you know that they got bought by like a Chinese company? Really? 
Yeah. So I don't know like what the hell that means, but it's super weird. Like out of nowhere, they got acquired or whatever. Mm. Yeah. Moonlight watch party time, West Coast, Josh. So I believe it would be at midnight. Ele- yeah, it would be a we'd start at like 1130 for you guys. So okay. tomorrow night. Yeah. Not sexual, but I can see where you think that. <laughs> Yo, nice cat, dude. <laughs> yeah, it's a big boy, dude. It's a big old cat, I tell you. Uh, Y'all think Vader will be in more projects in the future? When will Ahsoka take place? Sure. So it, uh, Vader, or rather Hayden, is confirmed to be in Ahsoka. And that was a Hollywood trade that broke that. So he's going to be in there maybe as a flashback or maybe as a force ghost. But um, yeah, I think more Vader's on the way, bro. They must have liked him, what he did in uh, Kenobi. So, yeah. I think we'll see a lot of them. Yeah. Hit that like, y'all. Love you guys. We love you too, Darth Beard. And you're the last super chat of the night. Oh, oh Darth never mind. I lied. Beard. Kenny, well, we to, lied, but still a good beard. You have to be so generous, bro. Yeah. Sup, fellas. Theory, you got any interviews coming up? I just watched one with Sam Witwer. It was great. Uh, no, I, I don't, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe someday. That'd be nice. But uh, yeah, no, nothing. Nothing at the mo. <laughs> Joey says that's a dog. <laughs> I, you know, I'd love to get some, but I, I just, uh, I'm gonna be real with you. Yeah, I, I don't really. Yeah, I just don't think that's really gonna happen. I'd love to get some interviews with some of the actors and stuff, but. Well, I think, uh, you know, without going too far down the road, there was the one dude that we were maybe gonna sit down with, or that you were gonna sit down with, and then there was something that happened when they saw. Like Lucasfilm basically saw you talking about it, right? Mm-hmm. And then they were like, "We don't like him." Well, I don't know if they said that, but it just it didn't happen anymore. So, mm. uh, yeah, which is sad. Yeah. So, yeah. Lucasfilm was always such a hero for me growing up. Yeah. Not that they're not anymore, but um, you know, things are changing. So. I don't know. I don't really know what to think. I just, I'm just doing my thing. I'm here to make content and uh, enjoy Star Wars in, in a way that I enjoy it and be real with you guys and, you know, be very transparent. And, um, you know, there are certain decisions that are way above my pay grade and, you know, I have nothing to do with. But I mean, I would love to give you guys all the content in the world. That'd be so cool. You know, yeah. for myself, number one, as a Star Wars fan and also as a creator. That'd be nice, 100%. but yeah, not to make any speculations or, or, or um, um, theories, but yeah, I don't know, whatever it is. It is what it is. So maybe things will change, you know, maybe new leadership or something or I don't know. I don't know, man, whatever. We'll, yeah, whatever. we'll see what happens, but um, yeah. Um, thanks, Kenny. Yeah, uh, uh, maybe soon. It's a dog. <laughs> It's true. It's true. I, I I will buy you some food, babe. Hot tub stream, You're right? Yeah, someday, man. Hot tub. You guys fun. want a hot tub stream? I'll do it on the gaming channel. There you go. What's the nerd theory schedule? Uh, every Monday. Oh yeah, so this is something we wanted to ask you guys before we end it. Uh, what if we change nerd theory to a little bit earlier? Yeah, we were talking about that. What do y'all think? Like a four p.m. Yes, that'd be like seven. So like an hour before. An hour earlier, yeah. What do do you guys think about that? Would you guys want that? Because we are up for it. Or is that too early for you, my apprentices? Because they go on for so long, so we're like, you know. Yeah, it's weird. We could even do three. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, it seems... uh... Hmm. Split. There's some people that are down. There's some people that are not. There's a lot of people. Let's do a poll. Um, Pull it up. Nerd Theory, 5 p.m. PT, 4 p.m. PT, and 3 p.m. PT. Pull it up. I kind of like the 3 p.m., but... uh, Yeah. I mean, they just have to see. They. It seems... I don't know. I'm seeing a lot of people... I mean, we'll see what the poll says. You can never really tell. With well, I got to do a poll on my actual community tab because that's when right. the tens yeah, yeah. of thousands come in. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, for sure. I mean, we're down to keep it at five if you guys like it. You know, we're just mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Seems yeah, the most people want five p.m. Hmm. Interesting. Mm-hmm. They like the late night kind of thing, I guess. Yeah. Well, for some of them, it's not super late. You know, right. I saw some people saying like that's when I get off work or whatever. So uh-huh. I get it. I get it. Yeah. Fair enough. I mean, we've established five p.m. for so long. So yeah, that's true. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Fine. We'll keep it at five. Yeah. Love you guys. Too bad I won't be able to play because I'm at work, but I've been excited for this game. I can't wait till I get home in the morning. Nice, dude. Yeah, that'll be sick. You're gonna have that'll a be great nice. time. Yeah, yeah and that ride nice. home. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I don't know, bro. That ride home, man. I when you're, uh, oh, man, I used to get off a shift and you got something really fun to do, bro. Those car rides home were the best, man. Yeah, right. Yes, they were. I mean, you didn't have a crush on someone yet, dude. She was. She was a babe. She was up, baby. It's knockoff from Willem Dafoe. People say Daddy Foe. Daddy Dafoe. Okay. So Mama Dafoe. I thought so. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, hey, right guys, on. Flex Fit hats would be awesome. Okay. Heard I'll that keep ball. it in mind, man. Yeah. Thank you. I'll, I'll try. I watched Revenge of the Sith in theaters on my B Day, May 25th, when they announced Kenobi. I rented a theater for our homies, for the homies, Whoa. so I could rewatch RTS and lead yeah. into Kenobi. Revenge of the Sith. That's cool, man. Good now for you. Changed. I don't know if I should do it. Do it. Or just yeah. invite him over. Nah, do it else. anyways. And then you just wait two days and then, yeah. I don't know. Like Star Wars releases an hour. Less than an hour now. Yeah, I'm going to go yeah. so I can go eat and, yeah. and yeah. kind of get away from a screen and then come back yeah. and hit it hard. Yeah, man. Brady. Yeah, 100% Brady. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, 100% Brady. We <laughs> totally agree with you. 100%. Revenge is not the Jedi way. I'm your Jedi. Rushes for dude. Yes, that'd be cool. I love that scene in Rebels, bro. Yeah, like the ending of season two in Rebels is very good, Mm -hmm. very good. So yeah, my goodness, Josh is so hot. Well, thanks, (laughs) Ram. Appreciate you. Why you seem so hesitant? No, I just I'm terrible. I can't I can't pronounce anything. Okay. Just yeah. Like I don't know. My brain not good. <laughs> okay, we love you guys. We'll catch you in a bit. I'll see you in like uh 45 minutes probably early. I'll probably just put up the stream now to be honest and then uh or the lobby and you guys can join. Yeah. See you later. I'll I'll peek in. Matthew there. says chances for SWMC MCU crossover multiverse mm. never. Yeah, none of us want that, bro. I mean, I shouldn't say none of us because maybe some of y'all do, but I'm not down. I'll let's go before someone else sends more money. Goodbye, okay, goodbye. And you're sounding like a separatist. 